everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Infinite Library, and thank you for joining me on this sensational Sunday afternoon. Hex, congratulations on nabbing first. Zilla, hello. Thank you for joining us. It is Zelden time. We're going to get into the Zelden ring or whatever it is. And Minty, thank you for joining us as well. I'm sorry that you couldn't get back to sleep, but thank you for being here at the start of stream. Uh, the boy is here, but he's off camera. He's probably going to pop up at some point because he's kind of being a little baby. Oh, you can see his tail flicking there back and forth. Hang on. Let me go over to the larger view. You can probably see his ass. Yeah, you can see, like, his ass a little bit there. Right there. That's his ass. Also, Hex, while I can actually, you know, say it vocally, happy birthday, baby. I hope you're having a good day. I love you. Everyone say hi ha happy birthday to Hex. Not TOS safe. It's fine. He's not showing his little white butthole. He tries to, but I don't let him. We gotta save that for another, another website. Uh, where's my controller? We're gonna go back to Hateno Village. Now, I don't want to waste too much time on the, some of the quest lines in Hateno Village because we're, we're basically, if you weren't here last time, we're on a quest now to give... Uh, out some mushrooms to various villagers, and we found half of them. Um, I don't know where the rest are, so I'm probably just going to use, like, a walkthrough to find them. I'm, like, playing this game mostly blind, like, 99% blind, but I realized when I was setting up for stream that that's what we were doing last time, and I realized that I kind of don't want to spend a lot of time doing it. I just kind of want to get it done. So, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's load back in. There we go. We have some game audio. Mushroom quest is so annoying. Okay, that, that yeah, that that makes me feel better. But I I got half of them. I found half of the people to give mushrooms to. And I was like looking around for the other half at the end of the last stream, and I couldn't find them. So before stream, I just like I haven't even really looked at it yet. I just like tried to find like a spoiler free walkthrough of where the other people are and I just like copied the like, character locations onto my notes really quick so I have them here more than to two hours total to find all those people yeah we're not gonna do that let's see yeah I'm just you know I'm just gonna go straight to my notes I just I nabbed notes off of the internet and that's what we're gonna do uh, I will actually activate the quest, though. It is... Oh, I did actually finally get a, uh, a new controller. A new Switch controller, Pro controller. And it works beautifully. I hate how I had drift on the old one after a while. That was annoying. Uh... I didn't know you could get, like, drift on a Pro controller like that. Alright, brain, brain. Seems easier team read. Actually, first thing I want to tr try is the new signature food. Because it says creamy, melty mouthfeel and a unique pungent aroma. Uh, I might end up looking this up too. Because I was looking in my recipes. The ones that I have already. And I have... Uh, where was it? This one says fragrant mushroom. So the mushrooms are fragrant. Doesn't really say anything about being creamy, though. I wonder if I put, like, mushrooms and maybe, like, an egg and butter together, if that'll be it. Fluffy eggs. That's my guess, anyway. Creamy melty. See, creamy melty makes me think of eggs and butter, but unique pungent aroma makes me think maybe mushrooms are in it, too. I'm gonna try a couple of things. Where's a cooking pot? Gotta be one nearby, I'm sure. Oh, are you one of the people I need to give a mushroom to? Hi. Meta. <laughs> oh. 
Highly in tomato. Okay, you're not one of the people, or I already gave it to you. You know, the... Oops. Uh... Tomato mushroom soup does have... Like, this place is a tomato place. Tomato and mushroom together would make sense. Alright, I'm gonna try that. Where is a cooking pot? There's gonna be one around somewhere, I'm sure. I think there was one up here, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Uh... Boop! There we go. So let me grab... Two of these, and then, like, two tomatoes. And what does that make? That's gonna make, like, the mushroom stew, or whatever it is, right? Yep. Let's try another recipe. Let's try... Mushroom... Egg... Butter. What is this going to make? Oh, I just noticed that Link, when he hummed, he went like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that just made a regular omelet. What if it's tomato? Mushroom. Got a lot of mushrooms. Egg butter. Even if this is, like, not the things I need, I'll still have, like, be able to use them as healing items, so. That made tomato mushroom stew. Okay. So let's go talk to Reed and see if one of those are the thing. If not, I'll look it up later. Uh... Oh, it's nighttime, so he's in his little shack, isn't he? Okay, I gotta wait until morning. It's fine, we can wait right here. Uh, I maintain that this game and Breath of the Wild should have had a mechanic like Skyrim where you could wait anywhere, not just by the fire. Let's see. It would have made, um... Honestly, that would have... That would have solved the problem of, like, not being able to climb in the rain and stuff like that. Of, like, weather being annoying. If you could just, like... Because one of the biggest problems about... Hang on, let me actually do this. One of the biggest problems about not being able to climb is in the rain is that you can't... Because it's raining, you can't set a fire to wait until it's not raining, you know? So, the issue just kind of doubles up that way. Versus if you could just rain every, and if you could just wait anywhere, like in a Skyrim, then you just wait until the rain is not a problem anymore. Hi, oh. Zant. The boy's up. There he is. Create with a fellow villager. Oh, I might need to talk to the other villager. <laughs> Can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. Okay, yeah, so I needed to talk to the other villagers what I need to do. Farm up on the hill. Okay. I can do that. Farm up on the hill. Let's see, that goes this way. Okay, so maybe if I talk to the person in the firm up on the hill, maybe they know what I need? Windmills! Big fan. You've already got a mushroom hat, huh? Yeah, you're fine. You're already a CC voter. Oh, there's the sign. Alright, let's see where we're going. 
Yeah, tedious fetch quest, yeah. To no pasture. Oh, this guy's even by a cooking pot. I have a Hylian shroom. Hey, talk. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh, I thought he might have been the one. Okay. His name was Tak. Dance is another one of the people I need to talk to. Okay. Oh, is there a... No, okay. I thought I saw... No, that's just part of the house. I thought there was a well there for a second there. Uh, hang on, let me remove talk from the list of people that I need to give the thing to. Uh, Wharton, I'm pretty sure I did already. We had the patio upstairs, yeah. Got Wharton already. Oh, Meta we talked to already, so that must have been one of the four that we got already. Okay. Dance is one of the people we need to get anyway. This is a cozy little village, by the way. This is a nice little place to be. Oh, there's my, uh... Oh, hello. You've got a quest, too. Well, you're a new face around here. If I'm, uh, if I'm any judge, welcome to Hateno Pasture. Nothing like morning air in a farm, eh? Have a Hylian shroom. Is this from Cece? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty for fr if you fry them up as a snack. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift. But me and my daughter Coilin, an old talk, don't care much about clothes. So what use is fashion in the field, right? Still, I'm glad that's all you came for. Told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk and been a tight spot, no mistake. Fresh milk? Don't tell me you haven't ha heard of my farm's fresh milk. It's the best in Hateno. Secret in the special feed. Uh, secrets in the special feed I make for my cows it gives their milk uh, an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. Mm. Except I'm not having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. Hmm. Well, I should have some acorns on me. Uh huh. Here's some acorns. Hi, buddy. Uh-huh. That's fresh milk. Some of that fresh milk is not... Oh, it is a material. Maybe that's what I need to use to make something. Dance this prize cow. Sorry, that's another side quest done and dusted real quick. Let me see what uh, what Reed said again about the food. Like I said, I can look this up, but I'll see if I can figure it out. Well, hmm. I think I need to find the villager to talk to, though, right? Hmm. Yeah, there's a dragon. Look at the dragon. Yeah, nothing good has ever been described as pungent. Yeah, I feel like... If something is described as pungent... If, like... If it's a positive connotation... Then... It's going to go one of two ways. It's either got a fragrance or it's got a musk. Hi, buddy. Special food, fellow villager. Sant, don't hit the microphone. <laughs> Smell that aroma and... Sand, stop tugging on my corpse. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if the fresh milk had anything to do with the recipe. Oh, right, I don't need to, yeah. Reed's family are not part of the... Much Zant? I swear to God. Uh, okay. You know what, let's just go to my list here. Uh, okay, so we did dance. Koyan, Hateno pasture either in the house or by the pond out back. The pasture is the, up the hill, right? That's where I just was? Let me see here. Uh-huh. Was this where the pasture was, or was it another place? Yeah, that's the pasture. They're in the house or in the pond out back? Dance was around there. Oh, did I get one of these uh, taking a picture of already? Pickaxe? Okay, yeah. Not pickaxe. Pitchfork. Blech. Words. Uh, don't see anyone in the house. Okay. Oh, down here. Dance's daughter. Huh. She has a quest, too. How do I fix this? Do I have a dive into a pond? It's too deep to swim. Huh? So what's with the blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. Is that you got there? I have a Hylian shroom. From Cece, huh? I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. But if you're here on firm business, you have to talk to my dad at the firm. Message bottle. Oh. Found the letter my great grandpa left, but oh, I wonder if this is related to the thing. It's over there. <laughs> Do I have all of you animals? I don't know, cow. That's another cow. It's the sheep. And there's goats. Wait, goat. All right. Ooh, there's duckies. Oh, hang on. Duckies. Bright chested duck. All right, we got that too. Can I just like push this uh, back to shore or something? Nope, that is wedged in the water. I think I need to, uh... Alright, you know what? Nuts to this. Pew! Pew! Oh god, I'm under the ice. Let me up. Link! Hang on. I can just do like one near the thing, probably. Oopsie daisy. Alright, cool. And then. Uh, actually, am I close enough to the shore to. I gotta push that over there. Well, I should be able to reach it from the shore now. That should work. Got it. Yeah. New specialty with mare, cheese fermentation. Can't name. Too early. Oh, this is totally related to the uh, the food thing. Nope, nope, nope. Come here. Nope, come here. Come here. Grab it. Grab it. Linku. Linku. Pick it up. 
I got it. We're good. Everything's fine. Hey, look what I found. That's my great-grandpa's message bottle. But how did you... Did you fish it out for me? I like how everybody's just conveniently looking the other direction whenever Link uses his Zonai powers. Like, it's just like a weird conceit of the game that nobody ever actually sees him do it. There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting out firm back on his feet. Let's see here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Gosh, I do miss, miss, they miss great grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh, oh I hadn't thought of that. New specialty with mayor cheese fermentation can't name too early. Yeah, this could work. Okay, I think I might need to talk to her again for the uh, that other quest. Perhaps. Yeah, she was one of the... One of those. How many do I have left now? Just one left, alright. Cool. Let's go talk to Koyan. Oh, the boy. Uh, oh, she's in this house. That's right, that's right, that's right. They're all like one family. Take a look at this. Hateno cheese! That message... Oh, that's gotta be the thing. Springy on the outside, but melty on the inside, and so delicious. You'll think you're dreaming. Alright, I mean, if we're talking about a pungent food, then yeah, cheese. That makes sense. Couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Anyway, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. It's not like I like you or anything, but baka. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, baller. We have obtained the cheese. We have cut the cheese. Look at all the cheese! The Hateno Cheese Shop. Oh, oh, the cheese! You'll come visit me again, right? Oh, here we go, boys. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I'm gonna buy some cheese. Uh, I'll just buy it. You'll make more cheese? Excellent. <laughs> I mean, I basically just make it for you. Aw, oh, she's so cute! Oh, look at this. Oh, pizza recipe! Cheese, rice, tomato. Oh, we gotta make pizza. We gotta make a pizza right now, chat. Cheese, rice, and tomato. Oh, oh, oh. Pizza, 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 pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Alright. Cheese. Uh, tomato. Oh, yeah, wheat. That makes more sense. Wait. Do I not have wheat? I should have it, right? Definitely got it. Safelina. I'm gonna do it anyway. What does this make? 
Hey, he hung a uh, Sarius on. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That made cheesy tomato. That was a new one anyway. And that's why we don't point out my mistakes, chat. Because if I had not done that, then I wouldn't have gotten that other new one. Uh, that's rice. Do I not have wheat? What does it look like again? Oh, yeah. Is it up higher on the thing? Hmm. Might need to buy it somewhere. Alright, well, we'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind that when we get some wheat, we can make some pizza. In the meantime... Let's go... Give... Uh, Bucko some cheese. St cheese is totally the thing. It's gotta be. Huh, is that a different kind of fish? What is that in there? Oh, that's the ducks. Yeah, okay. I thought those were like big fish in the water for a second there. My B. Surprised I don't have any wheat. Sniff, 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 sniff. Am I smelling things, or do I detect a certain unique pungent aroma? It's my dick. Have some cheese. This is it. This is just what I've been looking for. My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager. Hateno cheese, of course! Makes sense that my grandfather would have been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koya not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. This is great news. It's a clear sign that we ought to make Hateno cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Pay you for that cheese, okay? Hell yeah. 100 bucks. Take it. Okay. Actually, I wonder if they have a wheat in the general store. Out of my way, door. <laughs> I don't know why I made myself laugh by saying that. Out of my way, door. Oh, boy. Oh, you're so, uh, are you the last person I need to give a thing to? Oh, no, I already gave him. Okay. Yeah, you already got one. Mushroom gate decoration at night. Oh, that's probably the one. Yeah, I think that's the one. So we gotta go there at night, I think. Milk. Yeah, that's... Alright, let me buy some more of the stuff anyway while we're here. Rice. Uh, swift carrot, I got enough of those. Uh, we're fine, we got over a hundred. Buy some more cheese. Fresh milk, I'll buy some more milk, I don't have a ton of that. Arrows? Yeah, alright. Take arrows while I'm here. Uh, okay. A few of those. Yeah, I got more than enough of those. I can use some more gutter. Gutter? Butter. Goat butter. Or as I call it, gutter. Let's see. Moon Moon! Hello there. Hello there. How are you doing? Uh, okay. So. Hope you're having a good day, Moon Moon. I've already made that before. I don't know where to get wheat. Or whatever was the other thing that I saw on the thing. Evil? <gasps> Dastardly. 
Okay. Um, I think I need to wait until night and then go to the entrance. I see. That's what we need to do. Hex is very special. Hex is the coolest. Coolest and the cutest and the loveliest. And we stand. A farming hoe. It's me when I play Harvest Moon 64. I am the farming hoe. Where's a fire? I need fire. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Which is to wait until morning. I go up around here, I think. And a uh, night time, I think. Yes. It's nice and cozy in the evening. Let's see, so should be by the gate here. Who are we looking for? Tomino. It's not you. You've got a mushroom hat already. Wait, is it you? Ah, okay. Tomina. Who is this freak? Okay, well, hello. Uh, hey there. What brings you to town? Oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that I get a good look. God damn it, this keeps happening. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. <laughs> can I can I offer you an egg in these trying times? You swept me off my feet so fast that I gave you one of my prized eggs. No more though. Just forget what happened here today. Guys, if if any men out there are ever self-conscious about your height, just remember that Link is a short king, and every woman he met, meets immediately wants him. Short kings, we stand. Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg, easily given but easy to break. Please find it in your heart to forget what happened today. How could I ever forget? Okay, alright, good. Okay, it's forgotten. I was wondering if there was some way I could romanticize eggs. <laughs> Girl likes eggs. But in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast, and that's it. I say a cuckoo's memory lasts for three steps. If you promise to forget this whole thing, I'll forget it too. I should head back to work. Stores and barns are always open. Take it easy, stranger. Do you still need something? Here, have a shroom. You brought this from Cece? Wow, uh, thank you. There's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They're tasty on their own, too. I just like them, okay? But when they're food, you make them fashion, you lose me. It wasn't so long ago that doing stuff like that was completely unheard of here. Farm families don't know what to make of it either. Can you blame them? Alright. Now, we can go back to CC. Ooh, or we can do... This one. Yeah, there's also a quest, now that it's night, a quest to tail Cece when she comes out of her house. Important to stay out of sight. Alright. Well, is she in here now? Well, I guess I can turn this in now while we're here. Oh, have you handed them out already? Oh, ho, we've delivered all my little gifts. I see, well done. I still think she's cute. It's not just because she's thick as a bowl of oatmeal. That ought to help with few of those reed voters see the light. 
Here you are, a sign of my gratitude. Thank you. <laughs> Big hearty truffle is actually pretty good. Rare mushroom that's worth more than I most can afford. As you're on Team CC, I expect you to be eat it and fire yourself up for the mayoral election coming up. Okay. Now she's leaving. Do I have stealth gear at all? I don't have, like, THE stealth gear, but I do have something I can wear, I think, to make myself a little stealthier. Ooh, I do have that. Okay, I can boo. Boo. Aha! My stealthy shoulders are so big. Uh... Oh, there she is, okay. She'll never see me. I am like a shadow in the night. Undetectable. I'm invisible. Oh, I see you, Bish. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, there she be. Building condemned, do not enter. Alone at last. Oh, I wonder if I can get in there. Hang on a sec. I wonder if I can, like, go into a well and, like, sneak up from underneath. Or if there's, like, a another way in, maybe. Hang on. Oh, here we go. I am sneaky. I'm Batman. <laughs> Perfect. I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. Ah, how I enjoy my nightly vegetables. Um, Chad, I think we should back out of here slowly before this goes any further. The shine, the luster, the... Mmm, the fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining. And so, without further ado, let us tuck in. Nom, 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 Ah, so scrumptious. The crisp, smooth taste is a sign that we're grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. I can eat the skin. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hateno Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. Though I've built a reputation on flash and glamour, here in private I must admit that the simple unadorned things are best. They're simply dome to dying at alas. Now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. Why do I feel like this whole Reed versus Cece thing is going to uh, coalesce with them, like, you know, understanding each other and working together to make things better? You know, it's all about balance, chat. Okay, put my clothes back on. Yeah, or I can put my bobblehead on. Yeah! Now I'm the hero Hyrule deserves. Uh, okay. Hey, girl. Sorry about this. I know it's a tall order asking you to tail my sister, but I'm just so nervous about her. Really? The silo across the way? 
What? I thought she'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style, and it has to do everything the most and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. Between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hateno Village. Probably told you she came back here because of uh, development or whatever. Truth is, she wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown again. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I need to have this in exchange for helping me out. Hey, thank you. The sister really is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same things, you know. Can't understand why the two of them don't just work together instead of going to such bizarre lengths. Hmm. I think it's about time to kick off the mayoral election. Been a tremendous help. I hope you'll stick around to watch. Everything's ready. Please let me know if you want to join in. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's take the dumb thing off our head. Put my actual hat on. Oh god, that makes my head look smaller in comparison. Oh, funnily enough, that mask does add some height. And now, without further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh, hi, I'm Reed. I believe that the heart of our village is a pastoral culture. We've built a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hateno, and I don't want to see us lose that. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hateno cheese. I am the world-renowned Cece, Hyrule's premier fashion designer. But you knew that, of course. No. Together, we can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go-to destination for all things stylish. No. Vegetables don't make the world go round. It's glamour that rakes in the cash. No. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. Fashion comes and goes. Your style is trendy now, but it'll be over soon. And then where will where will we be? Where will we be? <laughs> Nonsense! It's trends that shape the world, not the other way around. That's that's enough. Sophie, both of you are just arguing more of what you like, not what's in what's best for Hateno. You can't fool me, Cece. You've loved simple, plain things forever, including the vegetables of Hateno Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. Moi? Wh wherever did you get such a curious notion? And you, Reed, your secret's out too. I know you've why you've been. I know why you've been secretly studying Cece's designs in the shed. You think there's something there you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming? Now, who went and told you that? Cece, I can't deny any of it. I should have. It should have made me happy that you came in, in and livened up the village. No, Reed, it is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. They should just make Sophie mayor. <laughs> Uh, the trends and style that I made my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked for. Damn boy, she thick! Please forgive me, everyone. I'm sorry, too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. Okay, it's gonna be Reed and... wait. Cece, wait. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. No. Did I hear you say you're working on a new vegetables on new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a CC worthy endeavor. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with asking if with asking if you can help, you know. People of Hateno, we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Hateno Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. There we go. Sophie and Clavia told me what you did on our behalf. Thanks to you, Hateno Village is thriving once more. 
We have to rewind such fine work, hmm? Come to Ventus Clothing when you have a moment. Or reward such fine work. Alright, into the clothing. Into the clothes store. Do I get new clothes? I knew, of course, that you'd been in cahoots with Sophie. But I never dreamed you've also been conspiring with Clavia. Still, all in all, we can call that election a success. Do you remember what we discussed when you first came here? The CC hat is the latest masterpiece from the CC collection. See those luxurious curves? That av- I do. That avant-garde colorway? Everything about that hat is perfect, and so I've been saving it to bequeath to the perfect model. Do you grasp yet what I'm getting at? It's you that I want to model my CC hat. You who saved not just Hateno Village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. And besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody flirts with Link. Here we are. Hey. Put on that CC hat and lord it over the whole world. Tidy, hmm? I shall reinvent myself and open Ventus clothing anew. Sophie, there's work to be done, sister. Am I going to be able to complete the outfit? Ooh, the uh, Royal Guards set, uh, tunic. Hmm. All right, let's nab this. I don't think she has any of the other pieces, though. Already got this, of course, the Hylian tunic. She's got the pants and the hood for it. Uh-huh. Show me. Oh. Okay. This is stuff that I've already got, I guess. Oh, I guess this is where... Okay. So in this game, this is where you can reacquire this stuff if you sell it. Got it. Yeah, so this is all stuff that I've already got. Understood. Okay. Yeah, there was a thing like that in the um, last game. There was a guy in... Once you set up Terrytown, once you had that all set up, there was a guy that would sell unique items um but it was like stuff that you could find elsewhere in the game that there was only like one of in the game so if you sold it then in order to get another one you could get it from him that kind of thing same purpose here okay so that's it for the quest line here huh yeah okay cool we've done the hateno quest lines let's just uh hit up those spots on the map that I noted. Eh, let's start with the red one. That's not the closest one, is it, though? I guess the closest one is yellow. Alright, so that's done. Now we can do a little bit more exploring around. We'll hit up some of these nearby locations and see if there's anything there. Then we can get back to uh, another quest. Okay. Yeah, I, want, I think I wanted to come to, Ma to Hateno in the first place so that I can do the, uh... I get the glider switched out for a more unique one using the, uh... Skyward Sword one because... Can I change that to... Yeah, we'll go there too. That's nearby. Um, I changed it to the Skyward Sword one because that's where the uh, the sailcloth glider thing originally came from. I was kind of torn between either using that or using the uh, the Wind Waker um, sail design, but I've already got Wind Waker rep in the shield, so 
Yeah, is there anything over in this pond? Or is that the pond where I already was? No, I would have seen it on the minimap, right? Unless I wasn't paying attention. If I've been down that well. There was a well over here. I don't know if I've been into it. I have. Okay. The pond I marked is just over here. Uh, don't think there's anything really of note here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let me go up to the red one here. And then... Don't have any active sh sh shrine quests. There's a ton of side quests. Worry about those later. Could do that side adventure. Or we could look for another... Um... Ooh, well, you know what we did do? I was going to do the... Uh, the Rita, not the Rito, the Zora uh, quest line soon, because I did already find the Water Temple earlier on. So, yeah, we should go to, like, Zora's Domain. And, uh, see what's going on there, so we can, like, actually do the Water Temple. Oh, it's cold up here. Ooh, something else I could do is we can go try and get some more, um... Oh, it's like that cold, huh? I can try and get some more, um, fire, some red, red choo-choo jelly, so that I can increase the strength of, uh... Th these pieces, the, uh, um, the Rito armor. So I still have, like, an armor rating when I've got that on for the cold environments. That would make sense. It should be easy enough to find those up around, like, the, uh, um, northern areas. I marked this, I don't remember why. Just looked like there was something here. Let's climb the tree. Hi, Fudge. How's it going? Having a good weekend. Thank you for joining us. Is there a Korok on the top of this tree? Something like that? It's a suspicious tree. Yep, there it is. I knew it. The tree was too suspicious. I am doing well, thank you for asking. There it is. Yeah, ha ha! Nice. Bye bye. Okay. Let's go to the yellow one down here. What's in the... what's over by the yellow one? Something forest. Explore the forest over here, or at least have a look real quick. Flutter! Okay. See if there's anything in here. Sun shrooms. Any like Koroks or anything in any of these trees? And did I get a picture of a squirrel already? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, okay. I 
don't really see anything here. Okay, moving on. Uh, go over here real quick. What did I mark here? Oh, is there a cave over here? Ah. Walnut Mountain Cave. Got it. Okay. Horriblins. Gotcha. Get wrecked. I should put on my actual clothes again. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, there they are. You done, son. Give me your stuff. Bird friend is putting in work. Love that. Whoop. Gotcha. Nice. Pictures of all this stuff already. Yer. Okay. Let's find us a frog. There's gonna be one in here somewhere. Oh, then ice lake. Ooh, I don't have a picture of that one yet. Get a nice get it framed nicely here. There we go. Disgusting. Suck on this. Come here, you. Gotcha. Yep. Hey, look, there's another Misco of uh, Misco's treasures over there. Nice. Gimme! Wait. It's empty. What the heck? What the heck? Is empty. Huh. Interesting. Normally there's a treasure chest in these. Also, there's another spot nearby. I can investigate when we're out of here. Though I think the cave here probably like kind of is the thing to find in here. Around this area. Ice keys? I already got those. Okay, we're good. Oh, Gucci. Oh, there's a boss bokoblin in here. That's fun. Oh god. Ow. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Get wrecked. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh. 
Uh oh. There we go. Whew. Yep. Come here, you. Nice try. All right, got him. Whee. That was a big boy. It was a big old boy. Okay. Okay. So I think there's going to be a Misko's treasure in here. Oop. In, uh, in addition to the bubble frog. Oh, hang on. There's a rare ore vein. Uh, yeah, I got these. Nice. There was a diamond in that one. Pretty good. Let's see. So this just goes out the other end of the mountain. Got it. Oh, wait. Hang on. I've already been in... Oh. I've already been in that cave. I just didn't go out the other end. Alright, so we've already got the thing that was in here. I guess that's why the, uh... The Misko thing was also gone? Because I guess we already got it? Must be. Alright. I'm just going to go underneath the red and zap up to get that off the map, and then we'll continue on. All right, figured it out. So in that case, we are already done in here. Uh, let's go up around here. Whoop! Puppies! I don't know if there's, like, anything up here to find or do, necessarily. Let's go up to the top of this little peak here and see. An ice whiz robe, that's probably about it. Peace out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, right, I wanted to go to the top of Mapla Point there. Let's do that first, and then we can go down into the bay. Ow! Dicks. I guess I should probably put some clothes on, huh? Okie dokie. I hear a wolf! I hear a wolf. Let's get out of here before it does a smash attack from, like, clear across the screen. Let's see. We're gonna go... This way. Check this out. Anything going on down here? Uh, Solar wood range. Eh, it's just a mountain range, I guess. I don't really see anything around here. Except for electric keys down there. Oh, this could be something. Hello? Oh, 
can't. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, ha, ha. Yeah, ha, ha, and a bottle of rum. Whoop. Okay. Baller. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And there's this stuff here. That we can build with. Hmm. Yes, the goofy sign guy. Let's see here. That's the wood we've got to work with, so... Let's put that there. And then... What I'm thinking... Is we can take like these kind of deals, these round ones, and I can kind of like put one here. Oh, hang on a sec. Wait, no. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Okay, hang on. I think what I do need to do is and give me like this let me go oh actually hang on let me s let me see something here that probably doesn't fit in there, does it? No? Okay, I didn't think so. That's why I went and got this. Okay, okay, okay. So... I can... Oops. Oops. There we go. Okay. So that's that. But then... I can use this and go like. Boop. Aha. And then. Oops. No, come here. Honestly, that should do it, huh? Theoretically. What if I, like, over-design it so it really can't go anywhere? Was there another... Yes. Give me this, too. I'm gonna do one more thing for good measure. There we go. That ain't going anywhere now. Okay. <laughs> Attached a rocket to the sign and launched into the sky. Oh my god. Would be amazing. Alrighty, that worked out. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. 
I do enjoy using rockets whenever possible. Later, bro. Alright, sick. Is there anything else up around here? Perhaps not. Oh, I think that's what there was here. Okie dokie. I think I've been, yeah, I've been down around here already. Because I've been into that cave. That doesn't really count as a cave because there's no thing in there. Yeah, the fact that this is not... Oh, it's not there. Okay, it was somewhere else. I was gonna say, if there was like a, you know, something that kind of looked like a cave but wasn't technically a cave on the map, that would, um, reinforce my notion that every cave that's actually marked on the map would have a bubble frog in it somewhere. Materials here. Deep Back Bay. Go in there. Well, we can make a boat out of some of this stuff here. What do we got here to make like a little makeshift boat out of? Let me see here. Let me... Squish that together. And then... Master Sword is back. Looks good. And I can put this here. I'm just kind of designing this to like look kind of neat. What if I did... Uh-huh. Okay. I like that. And do I want to put these on, like... The side here, maybe? Mm-hmm. Uh, not symmetrical. Let me move this one up a little bit further. Uh, oh, I put that on, like, the back there, technically. Hmm, put this one up a little bit higher, maybe? Maybe I put both of them up on, like, the corners there. Eh, I don't really like it up higher like that. Okay. That's what it was before. Can I do this one similarly? Can I put it like on the corner there, on the edge? Oh. Looks pretty neat. Uh, I guess it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just going to, like, you know, throw this out when I'm done, basically. If I put them, like, there. Will this not stick on the... Huh, yeah, these do not want to be symmetrical like that, huh? Interesting. I 
I think instead of putting them on there, I'm going to try putting them on, like, I don't know, maybe like the side down here or something. No, I kind of like having them... Alright, actually, here's what I'm going to do. Take this off for a second. Take the back part off for a second. That actually has a functional purpose. That's where I'm going to put the fan. So I'm going to pull out a fan and a thing in a second here. Oh, there we go. Oops. Dang it. It's too far forward. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm liking that. That's looking good. Okay. Now, for the actual parts that are going to make it work, we're going to pull out one fan and one steering stick. I can stick that there. I can stick that right in the middle there. Yeah, just like that. Okay, cool. And we have a boat, chat. Hang on, it needs to actually be in the water to go. <laughs> the boat doesn't go on land. Shock of all shocks. Let's swing up into this bay. Let's see what we got going on here. We're under attack. Get him. There we go. Bird! <laughs> Can I get a picture of one of those birds? Where'd it go? I should change my outfit too. You know, I didn't put on the CC hat yet. Oh my god, I'm beautiful! Bruh, I'm so hot right now. He puts on the lipstick and everything. Hang on. I gotta put on the sexy top. Oh, bruh. Link is uh, so fine right now. My god. It's got like the Shermie hair from um, SNK. Is there anything over here? Admittedly, this boat is a little bit slow. Kind of made a slow boat, didn't I? I'm just going to say, Link with that shade of, lips, uh, of lippy is uh, giving me life. He looks great. Is there like a, uh... Guarantee to make the fashionista's heads turn. I wonder if there's like a use for that later. Where's that for now? There we go. Now, I'm ca now I look like a boat captain. Oh. There might be a cave around there. I thought I saw a thing. Oh, yeah. There's totally a cave around there. Okay. So I see the, uh, the shiny boy.
Yeah, this boat is way too slow with only one fan. That's my B. Okay, it's gonna be a cave upper. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Man, am I missing any... I gotta check something. I, I'm, am I missing any Lizalfos in my thing? My compendium. Oh, I think I've got all the Lake Lakes. Alright, I've got all the Lake Lakes. Where's the Lizalfos in here? Electric, Fire Breath. Blue. Yeah, green, blue, black... I don't have the silver one. Electric. Oh, I do have the silver one. It's a head further. But there are like two kinds that I don't have. There's two kinds I don't have. I think one of them is probably the skeletal one. I think that would be among them too. Okay. Nice. Oh, there's the cave. Oh, iron shell crab. Oh, I didn't get it. Dang it. There's one there. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Come here, crab. Gotcha. Well, that worked out. Oh, bats. Pretty sure I got all the horrible ones, though. Yeah. Yeah, because they're just the regular, yeah, the red, blue, black, silver, just the standard ones. Blue main Lionel, so that's got to be a regular Lionel there. I wonder if I can get the other... Oh, there's a shrine in here. Die, die, die. I wonder if I can get the other Lionels by going back to the... Uh, um, whatchamacallit. The uh, Colosseum that was underground. I could probably get a couple of things from that. All right, let's go into... Oh, I need to drain the water. I see. Okay. Probably going to need to do that down here anyway. Oh, there it is. Hang on. That did it. There's totally going to be a, uh, a frog down here as well, a bubble gem. Show me your eye. And there's still a horrible and alive down here somewhere. there? Oh god. What is happening? There it is. Gotcha. And now you're dead. Uh, okay. Where the heck would the frog be down here? Ooh, I think the key, the water there goes a little further. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh, crap. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that yet. Maybe there was... Eh, I doubt it. They wouldn't lock me off like that. They wouldn't dine me out like that. Let's see here. 
Go back up here. Let's do the shrine first. Actually, it might be further ahead, like that away or something. Yeah, oh yeah, there's more cave behind the shrine. Okay, that's what we gotta do after the shrine. Okie dokie. Yeah, we might have to hit up some of like, the underground coliseums to see if we can get some of the uh, stuff we missed for the uh, compendium. Retracted path. What does this one do? What? Oh, that moves that back and forth, I see. Huh. What if I just, like, took you and, like, shoved you in there? Can I do that by any chance? Can I just, like, take you and just, like, eh, no, not quite. I can't just, like, jam it in there. Ah, cool. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The chest is only just over there. Uh huh. I see. Oh, I can go get the chest here, that's easy enough. Uh huh. Wait a sec. Hang on a sec. Oh! Huh. Okay. Let me lay this, like, here for a second. Okay. Up here. Could send myself over there. That doesn't seem to do anything for me. Dang, it's too far away. But can I get, like, up onto here? I can. Okay. I'm potentially cheesing this. This is potentially some stinky cheese. Can I not grab it from- what the heck? They're preventing my cheese, chat! Wait, actually- oh, hang on, let me- can I- Lift. Get up. Okay, I can put that there. Stay there. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Upsy daisies. Here I am. No! Oh, 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 that made my butt move. Huh? 
That didn't stay open, did it? Did it? Ah, I thought I was so clever. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I got that to work, even if it didn't, like, actually work. Okay, so how do I... There's got to be, like, another switch or something. Or... I don't use that at all. Hang on. Another idea, chat. I have another idea. Okay. Oh, they got the ch frickin' thing there on the other side. I see. Got it closed off on the other side. I see. Is there, like, a way to rotate this, then? How do I get that to stay in there, then? Hmm. I am confusion! Alright, let me try doing this real quick. Uh-huh. Oh no! That was a mistake. Whee! Okay. Alright, I'm alive. Okay. Is there, like, another switch or something somewhere? Because right now, this one doesn't really make sense the way that it is. Because how do you, like, get the ball to stay in there if it's, like, horizontal like that, or vertical, or whatever? It's upright. Wait, I have an idea for her. Oh, it didn't go far enough. Goodbye, chat. Maybe we can try doing the phrenic bow. I do have the one that goes further. Though I don't know what that's going to do for me, necessarily. That might not actually help. I'm a silly boy, chat. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. What the heckaroonie am I missing? Goes back and forth. There's gotta be a way to, like, Rotate it in another direction or something. Hmm. I have another idea, chat. I have a crazy idea. I don't know if this is going to work, though. Let me see something here. I think I might have been closer to the truth than I realized. It's 
It's gonna depend if this actually works. Okay, don't fall down. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, chat. Check this out. Put the ball back, like over here. And then rewind it back into the thing. <laughs> I'll take it. I have no idea if that was even close to the intended solution or not. But I'll take it. I think that was pretty good. That recall lets you do some wacky stuff. Huh. Num 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 num. The boy is doing a heckin' sleep over on the bed. He's so cute. Okay. Now let's see if we can find the, uh, frog thing. going to be in here somewhere. There it is. Easy enough. Sweet. Okay. Now then. Oh yeah, there's one more. The bay and the beach. We'll check that out while we're in the area. I'm just going to ascend out of here now. <clears throat> okay. Well, there's a couple of harbors and bays around. Let's see if there's stuff on the beach that I can use to build a boat. I can always just, like, generate one out of material that I've got if I need to, but, you know. Oh, there is a uh, Korok here. Got him. Pull up. This is fine. Let's get this Korak. Korak. Got him. Nice. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, now. Um, 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 I am going to pull out this and this, and then we're just going to make like an actual boat boat, because I saved one. Yeah, literally only uses three Zona 8 to do that. 
Although, hang on a sec, if I, like, try to pull this part off it, will it break the whole thing? No, that thing is still good. I just want to center this more. Looks better. Alright, whatever. Boat time. Yeah, see, this is a better boat. This is a boat-ass boat right here. This is a boaty McBoat face. Boating all over the place. What's going on over there? Anything? Some boxes and stuff. Beat up boat. Broken boat. I got a brand new boat. Boat, boat. Uh, okay. Swing around that bay. And... Down here. <laughs> Boaty McBoatface. Croc that I already got over there? What? Or no? Do I need to, like, find the Korok that goes there? Or is that someone else's thing? I don't know. Interesting. Potential Korok spot. Potential spot to bring one. What is... What is going on? What is what is that? Hang on. Oh, it's like a boar. Woodland boar. Okay. Yeah, I already got a picture of that. We're good. Turn, Bodie. Yeah. Oh, we're run aground. Hang on, chat. Splish. And away we go. It's a silver little foes. It's fine. There's probably something there. Hang on a sec. There's definitely going to be something in this middle pillar. Probably a Korok on the top. Yep, I see the rock. There's definitely a Korok on the top of that. 100%. Well... Hello. Gotcha. Wonderful. Yep. Oh, okay. Turn, Bodie. Turn, Bodie. Turn, Bodie. Yeah. Okay. Just run through this red marker to get that off of the map. I know I could delete it, but... Eh, I'll do it this way. Dang, it is foggy out here, by the way. Yeah, it's just enemies over there. Alright. Let's go around to uh, Lashlow Harbor. And then... I guess we could head out to this island. Yeah, we go to Eventide Island and have a look there. I visited it, like, briefly off-stream just so I could, like, drop down into the depths around there. But we can go explore properly while we've got the boat. That would make sense. Unless something else catches my attention and I need to go despawn the boat, but aside from that... Huh? Bats? Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Now we can just go straight this way. Yeah. 
Step on the gas. Anything up in there? Hmm. That looks suspicious. That, uh... That kind of cavey area there. I bet there's probably a cave or something in there. I want to have a look there. I'm just going to delete this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get up there, actually. That's what I'm going to do now. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, hey, do I have a picture of these seagulls? I don't know if I have a sea... Oh, God. I don't know if I have a seagull picture yet. That's what those are. Assuming. Oh, look, I can build a boat out of those. Hang on. Oh! Hold still. Ugh. No, I hit the wrong button. Did I get it? No. Did I get it? Damn it! Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, jeez. Freaking burbs. Yeah, I want to go up there. I want to go up and in that, like, cave thing. Alright, let's check. It. Let's take a look. Do the island another point, uh, another time, maybe. Or I can use those logs over there to make another boat. Also doable. Or I can just like, go to the area where those boats actually are and make one there. Ooh. Yeah, what's going on up in here? This looks like a spot where something could be... Huh. There is a cave around here, I knew it. Oh! And a luminous talus. Uh, I'll see you later. Knight's bow is busted. That's fine. Get wrecked. Whack, 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 whack. Goodbye. Get drowned. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we got in here? Yeah, we got a rare vein here. Nice. That's pretty much all that was there. But there is, oh god. But there is more cave down that way. I think it might be time to turn this into a boat. There we 
we go. There we go. I could have just swam, but this works. I should have just swam. It was not as deep as I thought it was going to be. Oh boy. I've already got a picture of you, right? Yeah. Ow, dicks! Be gone. Uh, we can go up there. Also, everything is slippery in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my, my frog suit. Let's get that on. So we don't have to worry about slippy sliding. Where's the frog -o? Friggin' shock lakes in here. That's fantastic. Just gonna... We're just gonna roll on by. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. We're just looking for the actual prize in here. The, uh... The frogamajig. Oh boy. Hello. Oh god. It's time for the biggin. There we go. Oops. Nice. Oh hey, there's a chest here. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Hardy lizards? High tail lizards got them though. Oh. I found the other side of the cave. Still need to find the frog though. All right. There's a bubble frog hidden in here somewhere. Uh -huh. I did kind of just like run through this room because of these guys. Ah, God. On. Show it to me. Show it. To me. There it is. Nice. Yep. Alrighty. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Um, is there, like, a hole or somewhere in this cave I didn't go down, so we need to find, 
Or, I mean, this frog could just be, like, on the ceiling in some random spot as well. This is a decent-sized cave. Oh, bombs. Oh, give me... Give me the bomb. Give me the bomb. Bomb's valuable. Need a bomb. Need bombs? Oh, I don't think I've got up here. Hello? Or did I? Oh, there's my... I don't think I've gone this way. Oh, there's a shrine up there, too. Alright, it's a good thing I came here looking. Okay, hang on, I need to... I need to bomb this thing. There we go. Oh, God! Stop throwing up on me and show me your sensitive insides. Boop! Gotcha. Alrighty. Oh god, there's another one. Show me your sensitive spot. Oh god. Huh. We're good. Save that for sneak strikes. Sword, nice. I like the one handed weapons, generally speaking. Wow. Okie dokie. Gonna be another one where the thing is behind it somewhere? No. Where's the dang frog? Well, let's do the shrine anyway. That dip dang frog's gotta be around somewhere. Dang old frog. -y. Oh, this is one where we just give it for free. I'll take it. Nice. There's another heart. Turn that in when we're able. <sighs> Alrighty, now where's the dang frog? You glowy bastard. It's got to be in here somewhere.
Have I been down there? I must have. Maybe not. There is a bomb down there that I should go get. I came from up here, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I haven't been on this level. I have not yet collected these bombs. This around here, yeah, this is where I made the boat. So obviously I was here. Is there another way to go? Another path in here? Is the frog, like, in here somewhere? Nay. Uh-huh. That's where I came in from. Is there another, like, alternate path early on? No, this is outside. So now we're out of the cave. Hmm. Curious and curiouser. Alright. Dang thing is in here somewhere. It's gotta keep an eye out. Okay, chat. We'll find it, don't worry. This one is, uh, this one is hidden. It's hiding somewhere. Hmm. It's gotta be another, like, crevice or cave or something somewhere. Really not down by the shrine, huh? Hmm. Keeping an eye up high now. The shrine. Where is that slippery bastard tucked away to? Hmm. Gosh. Dang it. There's something, I don't know if it's obvious, but there's something somewhere I definitely missed. There's a hole somewhere and I will find it. Or 
There's a hole somewhere. When I find it, I'm going all the way in. I swear to God. Hmm. I want the frog. Oh. 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 Aha! There it is. Got it. All right, sick. Out we go. All right, nailed it. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Now, go hit that point. I guess I could go while we're here, go hit the end of the cape. See if there's anything there. May as well. Oh, hello, guys. Okay, let's uh, mosey on past. Oh, gosh. Oh boy. Yeah, let's see if there's anything up at the top of this. Hmm. We could also probably flutter down to the point here and then make our way back around, theoretically, if and we wanted to. Maybe I will do that. The heck? It's this redness up here. Oh, it's the blood moon. It's rising, chat. It's Mr. Bug. Oh, there's a Korok up here. Where is your friend? Yeah. Yeah, the enemies make him freak out for a second. Uh, where do you need to go? See the one that's like down? Oh, he's over on the island. I guess we are going to. Is that Eventide? I guess we are going to Eventide. All right. Let's see here. Take this out. Make one of my handy dandy flying vehicles. Beautiful. More bats. Hey, Jake, sir, how's it going? You hang on there, and let's go to the island. I'm doing well. Bia! I'm gonna get this little boy home. And we'll explore that island after we get there. I think after that... Actually, yeah, I can, like, check those points off the checklist really quick when we're done there, just by warping back to that shrine. Just having a look. I don't know if there's gonna be really anything there, though, so... Not too high on the priority list, but just for the sake of, you know, checking them off the list. I think I'm doing well in terms of... Uh, I still have a ton of locations to check. Okay. Okie dokie. 
Oh, there's the blood moon. We're just gonna get nice and low. Get low, get low. Got a Dodo on Pokemon Sleep? Nice! To actually like catch stuff in Pokemon Sleep? I have not like tried it at all. I don't know if I'm actually gonna play it. Is Sleep like compatible with like Bank and stuff? Be funny. Huh, there's a little campsite over there. Boop. Oh. You know, we're fine. Gotta both go. Interesting. Alrighty. Well, now we're on even tide. going over on the beach. May add a home function. Well, isn't, like, Go is compatible with home, right? So, I mean, it's kind of a, uh, roundabout way to do it to go through there, so, you know, you can go from one to the other. Which is cool. Yeah, just like another way to catch Pokemon, I guess. Neato. Razor Claw. Okay, I already got you. Ah! Crap! Hello! You want to go home? Who the... Mister, you must have a death wish to make your way to this island. Heard the rumors, right? They say this is where the pirates that attacked the Luralin village hideout. I mean, I sure don't want to be here. But I'm on a mission to locate the pirates' hideout on, for the monster control crew. This island has three monster strongholds. Okay. Okay. I guess we gotta wipe out some strongholds, chat. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Three of them marked on the map. Let's do it. Let's go fight some monsters. Wanna guess who? Uh, Snorlax. Vigoroth. Good night. You're done. Oh god. Uh, low punny. Female Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet. Wooden stick. Oh god. Puppy daisies. There we go. Whee! Okay. Let's not fall down again. This is a cool monster fortress. I like it. Got this already? Yeah. Sturdy thick stick. Oh, I didn't go far enough. Dang it. There we go. There we go. That did it. Where do you land, though? There's still monsters afoot.
Ooh, mighty bananas. Oh, banana. Let's go up here. Yeah, I mean, you know, pe people have fun doing the uh, the Pokemon smash or pass kind of thing. You smash a Wobbuffet, the Wobbuffet just smashes right back. It's a thing with them. That looks like a pirate stronghold over there. Ugh. Dang it. Well, this is a sticky wicket. Or a slippery wicket, such as the case may be. Oh, hang, can I get this stick? Good stick. Good stick. You hate Sarah's on the Discord? Why? I love Sarah's! Sarah's amazing! My daughter! Oh, hello. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, God, I'm frozen. Eh, help. Oh, Mareep is a good line. I do like the Mareeps. Uh, there. That's a good choice for a favorite line. Ampharos is probably one of my favorite electric types. Hey, oh, ten bomb flowers. Ooh, that's nice. That's good. <laughs> Come here, you! Okay, I gotta, I gotta admit, that was like kind of a cool anime moment where, uh, that, that's always a cool kind of thing when you, uh, when someone like slices someone with a sword and then like the tree next to them falls over. Is there a Korok in the middle there? I bet there is. Oh yeah, Me Mega Ampharos is majestic as heck. Something in the middle here, I bet. Yep. Hello. Get away from me, bats. Be gone, bat. Ow. Eh. Oh my god. Oh, goodbye. Oh. Don't spawn me in the thing. Gosh dang it. Get out of here, bat. Alright. This is a situation we're in. What? I can't freeze the mo Okay, we're in trouble. We're in trub steps, chat. Uh... Uh-oh, spaghetti. Actually... Come here. There we go. That worked. Oh, hello, boys. Give me your jelly. Nom, 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 nom. Okie dokie. When was closer? Uh, this might be easier to go do this one first. <gasps> Mighty bananas. Oh, bananas. Baller. Hmm. 
Num, num, num. Oh, hey, look at this. This looks neat. The choo choos. I do like to choose. The choo choos. Goats. I see goats. Wind Waker. I do like the uh, the Wind Waker design for the choo choos. They're super cute in that. Oh, no. Okay. How do I get up and in there? Uh, this way. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. He's gonna release the thing. There it goes. Dang, come here, you. Oh, uh, big boy! That's a big boy! Oh, no! You're a big one. Okay. Thank you, my friend. What was the little guy's name again? I, re I gotta remember so I can actually call him by the thing. Tulin, that's his name. Get in the water! Ow. Oh, he back. He back and he mad. Okay, what do I got here? Ugh, give me this. Gah! Just throw stuff at him. Gah! <laughs> uh, let's see what I got here. Uh, what do I have like that I've already used a bit? Oh, let's burn him. Burn! That's out of power for that. Needs a second to recharge, huh? Uh, huh? Well, I've been using this. Ow! Ooh, that hurt. Uh, let's see here. Num num. There we go. Uh, oh! Everything's good. And you're dead. Okie dokie. Well, that worked out. He was probably the big boss in this particular encampment. Got here. Okay. Nice. It's another one cleared out. The dusk bow. Oh yeah, this is a uh, Zelda's bow from the end of Twilight Princess. You can get it from Amiibo, or I think you can find it in the depths, and I think that once you do, then you can buy it from the, uh, uh, from the guys down there, from the statues. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I've stopped, like, scanning all my Amiibos every day, because I totally don't need to anymore. I've got, like, a crap ton of cash already, so I'm a little bit busted, but, um... I still try to scan the Zelda amiibos every day because the uh, Smash, like Twilight Princess Zelda amiibo, can give you the Dusk Bow, and the uh, the Wind Waker Zelda can give you the Wind Waker Shield. Honestly, like I. I keep, I'm gonna keep, like, scanning the amiibos that give me the archery stuff, because 
Lord knows I don't want to run out of bows. Like, I feel like the game gives you ample amounts of, like, melee weapons. You're... Despite the weapon durability, like, enemies drop melee weapons constantly, so you're never gonna run out. But you totally could run out of arrows and bows if you use them a lot. Do I have a... I do have the silver one gotten, okay. Hang on a sec. Let me whip around here. It would be nice if there was a bow, like... You get the Master Sword that has, like, the recharge for a melee weapon. It'd be cool if you could get, like, a bow that had something like that. Like, get, like, a light bow. That, uh... That recharges the way the Master Sword does. Of course, I think that, you know... I, I think that in Breath of the Wild, all of the champion's weapons should have worked that way or been unbreakable. Like, I don't hate the weapon durability in Breath of, Breath of the Wild as a design decision, because I do think it works with that game. But I do feel like the champion's weapons should have been unbreakable. Or at the very least rechargeable the way the Master Sword was. Get wrecked. You're done, son. Who's left? Someone's still alive. Someone is still alive. Yeah, I can grab this chest in here anyway. Soaring Boomerang. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Where the heck are Rooney? Hmm. Someone is still alive in this area somewhere. Nothing up there, is it? Hang on. I don't think so, but there might be something else up here. I can flutter down with the sailcloth and have a look anyway. That uh, doesn't really look like there's anything up here. Oh, there's like a spot to put a, uh, a wing there to glide somewhere. Okay. Oh. I think I might have these already. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see here. They might have fell down somewhere, but they're still alive. It could be something like that. Oh, it's the silver dude. He's still alive. Ugh. What else do I got here? Is this a... It is a double... Ah! Ah! There we go. Yeah, I never did it in my Breath of the Wild playthrough. I'm trying it out in this one. I'm enjoying it so far. I don't know if I'll, like, get bored of it and stop after a point. It's entirely possible. Uh, this thing's almost dead. Ooh. Hi, Fyrus. How's it going? Get burnt, you nerd. Whee! 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. I'll be on cooldown for a second. Ooh, ah, I thought I saw a chest there for a second. Oh, here's the stuff he dropped, though. Uh, okay, let's go talk to the dude again. Yeah, I think because I never did the compendium, really, in Breath of the Wild, like, I did a little bit of picture-taking, I think because I didn't focus it on, on it at all in that one, I'm a little more inclined to do it in this one, because I'm like, eh, I, did, I didn't do this before. I feel like if I went hardcore on the compendium in the last game, I'd be like, no, nah, not doing that again. Starting to get a sore throat. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully it doesn't last long. Be sure to stay hydrated. I, I would drink plenty of soup. I was, like, kind of sickly a bit on Friday. But, uh, yeah, fortunately I just, like, drank some soup. Or ate, had some soup, drank, like, a bunch of orange juice with, like, immune boosting things. And, uh, yeah, was a little, was pretty much better by the next day. Just saw a pirate ship coming in. Oh, goodness. We've got pirates to deal with, chat. Since it went around the rear side of the island, ship disappeared. Ooh. All right. The pirates are going up the rear. We gotta investigate the hideout. I'm gonna go up this island's rear. Pineapple related juices? Ooh, good call. I gotta start drinking some more, like, orange juice again. I used to have, like, a cup of orange juice every morning along with breakfast. I need to get back to doing that. I kinda, like, stopped because money, but. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, balance my budget with nutrition. Trying to make sure I get my vitamins. My vitamins. Okay. Now let's just go, like, up and around and, uh, and flutter down. It is a tough balance, yeah. I always remember the old, uh, the meme... It's like, why is being alive so expensive? I'm not even having a good time. But yeah, it's definitely one of those things where, um... You know... In the United States, there, you know, there's a little bit of an obesity epidemic and whatnot, but... I feel like what people a lot of the times tend not to acknowledge about that kind of thing, about people in America and other developed countries, like, being unhealthy overall, is that be, like, being healthy, like, eating well, is goddamn expensive, you know? So, some people just, like, flat out can't afford to do it. Oh, this is cool! There's pirates! Pirate monsters! Oh, here we go! Pirate monster fight! Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay. Uh, this sword of shit. Yeah! Be gone. Alright. Uh, yep. Accidentally went into crouch. I was trying to do a... Uh... Oh god, I was trying to spin attack. I'm not good at it in this game. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh god. Ooh, that's a big boy. And I've got a silver one of those already. I'm sure I do. Yeah. Ooh! Ow! Ow! 
He's a big pig. You can be a big pig too. Hoi! Oh god. Get wrecked. Got you in the corner, bitch. Oh god. Camera. Oh god. Okay. Let's eat something real quick. Num num. Num num. Num num. Oh ho! Oh! Nice try, jackass. Get wrecked. Ow. I've got a royal broadsword already, right? Royal Halbert. Uh, I don't know if I got that or not. Hang on a sec. I'm doing this in the middle of combat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ooh, there's like a shrine up in there. The Royal Silvers. Yeah, I think um, me doing a lot of farming off stream to get my uh, um a uh, battery increased a ton also had the side effect of uh, increasing the world level so i'm getting like a lot of silver enemies which you know what i'm not, i'm i'm okay with that i've been doing like so much cheesing and whatnot with the amiibos to like get a bunch of stuff and money i'm okay with my uh comeuppance being that uh I've inadvertently increased my world level so much that everything, like, half of the enemies are silver. Alright, there's another enemy somewhere. Oh, there it is. A hey. Delicious cheese, yes. Love that. Love the cheese. Give me this. It's down here. Ooh, fish. And long sticks. Hard to keep up with the companion when... Yeah, I crap ton of weapons and materials and stuff like that. Yeah, I did... One thing I did is that... Um, between streams, I went through uh, like a bunch of materials that I had in my in, uh, inventory, and uh, let me see here. Yeah, and I just, oopsie, dang it. And I just like, you know, dropped it on the ground, and, like took pictures of a bunch of the stuff that I already had. So I completed a lot of it that way. How am I doing overall, anyway? Uh, 65 out of 92 creatures, not bad for creatures. Monsters were getting there. Materials were getting there. Equipment, I'm over halfway. Yeah, equipment is the one that's still got the most of it. And then treasure, I've got all of those. There's only a few of them. So overall, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, the the, the equipment is the one that's going to like take the longest to find it all. I'm not necessarily worried about doing 100% of it or anything like that. I'm just kind of, you know, as we're going through the game, getting as much of it as I can. Partly because it does actually give me a, uh, you know, a little bit more of a challenge. Just an extra challenge, especially if I try to do stuff on the fly during combat like that. Uh, anyway. Totally ghost ship from Phantom Hourglass. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Phantom Hourglass is pretty cool. Alright, can I... Zap out of here. Yes, I can. Whoop! Oh, wait. There was a shrine there, wasn't there? I thought I saw, like, a shrine in the back. Maybe not. Uh, hang on. Hang on a sec, Rooney. Before I go back to the dude.
Can I get up here? Yeah. Through the boat! Yeah, there's totally a shrine back there. How do I get into it? Oh, it is open. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. I just... Uh-oh. Ow! Uh! Ah! Uh. Uh. Okay. We're gonna need to get Toolin to help me in there, but... Fortunately, this guy can totally get me in there. That was funny, though. Just... Ah! Uh. Oh! Ow! Need it to be a little bit quicker on that one. Okay. I need to play Phantom Hourglass again eventually. Let me just go from, like, the crow's nest and try to flutter in there. Yeah, this makes more sense. Oh, this thing is in the way, though. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button there, sorry. My bad. My bee. Oop, I did it. Hang on. Okay. Lank. Okay, hang on. No, drop, 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 drop. Yeah, Phantom Hour Last is not a perfect game, but I, I like it for what it is. It's It's really interesting. One of the puzzles is a really interesting use of the, uh, um, uh, DS hardware. There we go. Seared steak. It's in here. Took me, like, way too long to figure out, though. Like, I kind of solved it accidentally. Roasted porgy. Banana. Banana. Yeah, I didn't like Spirit Tracks as much, but Spirit Tracks is also cool. There's some neat stuff in there. Remember having trouble with the final boss in Spirit Tracks? Oh, the boys being a cutie. Okay, so this one was just a matter of getting in here. Co host on a podcast, you listen to Hate Spirit Tracks. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Spirit Tracks is not a game I jump to the defense of. It's one of those things where, like, if people were talking shit on Phantom Hourglass, it'd be like, eh, I kind of liked it. I, I enjoyed Phantom Hourglass for what it was. If people talk shit on Spirit Tracks, I'm like, okay, fair. Alright. I, I didn't like Spirit Tracks as much. From what I remember, it's been a long time since I played them. Alright, that's that one. Beautiful. Now we can go talk to the dude again. Uh... Oh, aha. <laughs> Can't be as bad as Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is a weird one. Zelda 2 could have been good, but, you know, it's got that NES jank as well. But, hard comparison, because, you know, c completely different games, almost like different kinds of games. Hey dude, I killed all the pirates. Hey. I did, I did kill the pirates.
Hey, nice. Alrighty then. Uh, so I think we're done here now. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm just gonna warp to this point and, like, check out those points on the map real quick. Yeah, what a cute boy. We gotta look at the boy for a second there. Lovely lad. What a sweet boy. Okay. Up, up. Where's the... Too high? There it is. Oh. It's the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. He is here. There he is. Although I think with Zant, the uh, the gremlin version is more appropriate. I don't know if there's anything up here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okie dokie. Let's go off yonder. I like how the uh, the cooldown on that ability is so quick. I don't think there's anything over here really either. There's like a monster fortress, but that's about it. Okay. So, uh, what we can do now is, I think first things first, let's get another heart. I can do that real quick. Oh, Shakespeare says it's treat time. Alright, let's do that. There you go, buddy. What a good boy. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, hey, there's a Goron over here. Death man with a new rose of form. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's just telling you how to get to Death Mountain. Oh. Okay. Mm. Cool. It's like a hint if you hadn't already been there. Uh, okay. Got a statue. Where is she? Eh? There it is. Good point until he eats Razzle's treat. Yeah. He does try to do that sometimes. Uh, give me another heart commit container. Heart container. Thank you. Wunderbar. Okay, what do I want to do next? Uh, I did want to do the, uh, the Zoro Domain thing at some point since we did find the Water Temple already. I feel like there was something else I wanted to hit real quick. Oh, right. I wanted to go into the underground, into the Colosseums, and see... Well, first off, to see if the uh, uh, anything regenerated there, and second, to see if I can get, like, 
pictures of like a regular Lionel for the compendium, for example. I know the Lionels were in, which one were they in? The Floating Coliseum? I think that was it. We could do that. All right. Let's see if we can get a picture of a regular ass Lionel. I think the enemies in the Colosseum should just be standardized. I don't think that'll be affected by world level. Uh, let's see, up this way. Pretty sure this is the one that had the Lionels in it. Begin, but you can never beat a Lionel. They are, uh, they're usually the strongest enemy in whatever game they're in. Uh, not rats. Ow, my legs. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay. I could have just used an item to make it up over that, but eh. Yeah, I might not have actually finished the uh, the trial of the sword and breath of the wild, but I am proud that I did, you know, successfully trained to beat like a Lionel without healing items. That was pretty good. Uh, where's the entrance to that? I gotta go around the back, I think. Yeah. I mean, I could just, like, climb up over it, but... Probably be... Yeah, easier just to go around and go in the back. Couldn't get to floor 10. It is tough, man. Trial of the Sword is no joke. Like I said, I, I couldn't actually finish the whole thing. I got to, like, the last floor and the last one. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, not going back to that, I don't think. That was, uh, whew, that was something. i to go across here. Whee! Yeah, I don't know if the enemies in here are going to be, uh, respawned from the Blood Moon or not. Oh, it looks like it. The doors are closed again. Yeah, I see him. Okay, cool. Mostly just here for the compendium, so what Lionel forms do I not have now? So blue. Yeah, okay, so there's two more. I've got the blue ones, then there's the I guess the black main and the silver main one. Ah! God dang it! Tulin, a little help over here. Oh, I think my bow broke. That's what happened here. Alright. Oh my god. I'm going to be using my shield. Oh, frick. There's no... Oh, wait. There is a thing over here. I'm dumb. I should be using this. Hang on. Stop! Stop! Oh. This is how you beat the Colosseum, you should go to the area with the stairs. Die, die, die! Come get me, bitch. Come get me. I'm over here. He can, like, shoot straight up into the air like that and just, like, make it fall down on me. Whoa! Hang on, I hit weak-pointed him. How did? How come he didn't go into stun? What the hell? 
Lionels are BS, man. One down. That's the blue maned one, huh? Oh lord, he's coming. Hang on. Come on, I nailed the weak spot and he doesn't go into stun. What is this horse cocky? Huh! Oh, yeah, I did get you, right? Yeah, okay, you're the blue main one. We're good. Whoa! Alright, after I kill this guy, I gotta go restore my health bar. Ow, because you don't technically need to beat everyone in the Coliseum in one go. Ho, oh, jeezum. Ho, oh, jeezum. There we go. Die, die. Oh. Oh. Woo. Woo -hoo Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Get wrecked. didn't work. Okay. Ow! 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 My bones. Tulin, yes! Taking a breath. Whew. Alrighty. Oh, hang on. I gotta drop something to get the Lionel bow. They're too good. Oh, yeah. I got some crap bows on me here. Hang on. You got it? Yeah, okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? We're gonna go take a breather real quick. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go take a breather, get our health back, come back, kill that guy, let the silver-maned one come out, get a picture of him, and then peace the F out, because I don't want to fight a silver one again. <laughs> we don't need to actually fight the silver one, so we're not gonna... Just getting all the Lionels in the compendium. For the challenge. Okay. Why not fight him? Because I've already done it. Because I've already completed these Colosseums. And gotten the prize out of them. So I don't need to do it again. Technically all these Lionels, I've already killed all of them once. Uh, let's see here. Defend 
heads up. That'd be good, probably. Yeah, whatever. Ah, ooh, ah. Okay. Let's get back in there. Okay, it's working out well, chat. What the? Why are you water? Okay, this is a regular one with stone armor. Doesn't count as a separate thing. Uh, 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 see ya. Uh, nope, nope. No, oh, God, why are you? Why are you between me and where I need to be? Let me go. Let me go. This way. Uh. Ooh, that's a, that's a, boy, that's a, hang on. Oh, no. Hang on. He's so, no, no! I changed my mind! Okay. 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 Okie dokie. Alrighty. Good stuff. Fudge? Yes, we will do that. Hang on. I'm gonna eat some apples. Actually, what do I have a lot of? I got a lot of mushrooms. There we go. There we go. Alright. Take a sippy sip. <coughs> Take a stand. Ugh. Huh. Stretch it up. Uh. 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 Adjust my underpants. There we go. Uh. Thank you, Fudge. I appreciate you. Uh. Okay. Huh. Okay. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? While we're at it, I'm just go ahead and uh, pull out one of my cooking devices here. Let's get uh, razor shroom. What do I have a lot of for the attack increase? Armor, mighty. I got a bunch of those. Yeah. Mighty fish. I love how Link sings old Zelda songs when he cooks. He goes, <laughs> right, that's an attack up plus three. That'll uh, that'll help. Okay. Kill this one. Take a picture of the next one, and then uh, that should be it for the Lynels. That's the white maned one. We got a blue main one already. And then, yeah, it'll be the silver main one. We've got all the constructs. Except for the flux ones. Wait, I'm missing something in between there. I don't know what that is. Maybe there's a Captain 5? Hmm. I need to get pictures of the other flux constructs. I think I might be missing one talus. I don't know. We've got all the Yiga dudes from the looks of it. Oh, I hope I didn't miss... I wonder if I was supposed to do the boss of the, uh, the Wind Temple. Well, if so, hopefully there's a chance, to, there's, there's a way to, like, refight it somewhere. As long as it's not, like, permanently missable or anything like that. That kind of thing is always annoying in games when there's stuff that you can miss permanently. N nothing kills my enthusiasm for trying to go for some kind of completion faster than uh, than something like that. Than something that you missed and then you just can't get it again. Huck. 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 
a game this big, it wouldn't really make sense to have something like that. At least not for, you know, in, in anything that's like, it's that it tracks completion for. Like, I think of one of the Paper Mario games, like, you can tattle on enemies and stuff like that to add them to a encyclopedia kind of deal. But if you miss bosses, then there's, like, a way to get the, uh, the encyclopedia entry for them afterwards. Okay. Yes. Mountain. <laughs> nice. Ow. And go ahead and eat my, yeah, my mighty fish skewer that I made for this. Am I winning? I think I am. I think I'm kind of nailing it this time. Ugh. I'm back in the groove now. First one I had to get back into the rhythm of fighting these things. Okay. He's gonna drop a bow. What do I have that I can drop to get it? Probably this. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's not a very good shot. Ow! Oh god. Maybe we'll take it! Maybe we'll take it! Ow! Now let's get up onto the stairway. No, this is nature photography. That's a better shot. A little bit better. I can do better than that. Dang it, stop looking up, you dickhead. Oh my god. I'm like missing the moment when he like looks at me. Uh, trying to get him framed properly. There we go. That's better? I can do better though. The, ow! This is the Pokemon snapping me. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, all right. We're good. 
Uh, where's it? Where are there other coliseums? Oh, is that one there? No, I think I remember being there, not being able to figure out what it was. The secluded coliseum over here. Okay. Yeah, there's like something else in like some of those spots. Yeah, hang on. Let's see. There's a forest coliseum there. Scorching coliseum there. That's a mine. Secluded Coliseum there. Is that it for the Coliseums? I don't know. Might have been. I don't see any more. Okay, let's just see what's in uh, some of these. I don't remember what's in each one. But we're going to try and uh, complete some compendium stuff through the uh, Colosseums real quick. I think one of them is going to be Lizalfos, one of them is going to be Bokoblins, and one of them is going to be... Moblins, probably? That's probably the three, yeah. Okay. Ooh, God, that's a good bow that I got out of that, though. All right. That'll come in useful. Okay, so what one am I close to? The red one. Let's see what's in that one. Fun fact, uh, guys, these Colosseums that I found off stream, the uh, very first one that I found was the Lionel one. <laughs> the Lionel Colosseum was the first one that I found and beat. I didn't realize there was more than one at that point. <laughs> and that there was also, like, a Bokoblin one. <laughs> So, that was my introduction to those. Am I missing any of the Bokoblin types? I don't know if I am. Let me see again. I don't... Well, I don't know if that's what's in here or not, though. Well, let's see what's in this one, and then we can go from there. It's funny the door, like, closes behind you, but you can just teleport out. Like, you're not actually stuck here. Oh no, this is the Hinox one. Okay. Well, that's good, because I think I'm definitely missing Hinox types. Or Hinox, rather. That's Black Hinox. Where are they on my thing here? Okay, so I got the regular one. I've got Stalnox already. So yeah, I am missing that. Perfect. Okay. Hinoxes are not hard to fight anyway. Hinoxes are a walk in the park compared to Lionel's. Uh, that's a gloom tool, which I don't want to do down here. See, that was easy enough. Have a weapon? Yeah, you kind of need a weapon to fight him. That helps. Is that all that was in this one? 
Okay, this Colosseum was just the Black Hinox. Ugh, dang. Okay, so I'm not going to get anything else in there. Which one was... So I need a blue Hinox and a silver Hinox is what I'm missing there. Also, I can totally get, like, the other Gliok. I'm not going to be able to fight it. We could try to fight it. It would go poorly for everybody involved. Uh, Alright. There's an another Talus type that I'm missing. Stone, rare, battle, igneo. Oh, I, no, wait. Oh, that's Ice Peblet. Yeah, okay, I'm missing the Frost Talus. Okay. All right, well, that's what was here. There's one up there. Is there one I'm missing that I didn't notice, that I didn't see? Oh, here it is, over here. Lone Island Coliseum. The Lonely Island, okay. That's the floating one, all right. Got it. Let's go to the Gliok Den real quick. I don't want to fight the Gliok until I've got like a full army of sages up my butt. But uh, let's go get a picture of the uh, King Gliok. Got to do a Hinox fight and ran out. Oh yeah, that's rough. Let's see here. Where am I? Ah. I can get up there. Ugh, dang it. Okay, fine. Yeah, with, with the Gleox, I think they finally added something worse than a, uh, uh, than a Lionel. Although that makes sense, because Gleox are literally boss monster monsters. could try and fight the King Gliok over here. It's not going to go well, but we could try. <laughs> oh, that's such a bad idea. It's such a bad idea. Let's do it. I'm feeling salty. I'm full of piss and vinegar. I'm going to regret this immediately. And I already want to back out. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't do it. Maybe that's just a bad idea for everybody involved. Well, we got to go get the picture at least. Wait, I see... There we go. Yep, Gliok is one of the bosses in the original Zelda. It's the uh, three-headed dragon. I think this is the first time they've been in a full 3D game. They were in, like, some of the handhelds, but... Um, I think this is the first time Gliok's been in a console game... Remember being two-headed? Uh, it might have been two-headed in, like, the first time you fight one, because there's more than one Gliok in the original game. So I think the first time you fight one is two-headed, and then the second one is three-headed. Then Aquamentus is the other dragon. It'd be cool if, they, if he was in this, too. Aquamentus. Grab these pose real quick. Yeah, Zelda 1 is pretty fun. Zelda 1 is like one of those hugely influential games when you consider like the time that it came out in, when there was like not a lot like that, you know? 
not not a lot of NES games have like the level of exploration that the Legend of Zelda does. You know, something like Metroid tried it, but I think, you know, I think Zelda One holds up a bit better than uh, than Metroid Metroid One. Metroid kind of needed Super Metroid to come along and perfect it, you know. And Super Metroid is like unequivocally one of the best games ever made. So, yeah, there's the King Gliok. Let's get a let's get a picture. Okay. YOLO! This is not gonna go well. Oh god! Ah, my everything! That did a little bit out. Uh, okay. I need to be unfreezable. Let's put on... Alright. Uh, my Zant helmet. Because that'll make me unfreezable. Can't get frozen while you're wearing the Zant helmet. Oh god. Ow! Still hurts though. This is going to be a fight that I need, like, a hundred Sunder Lion things. Ooh! Ow! Hang on. What the? Huh. I hit all of its heads. Oh god, the ice one is still up. Ooh, it's actually down. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. Hang on. Hang on, I have an idea. What happens? Wait. Oh, wait. No, hang on. What if I... Oh, this is a good time to use this. Actually. Oof. Get up, get up, get up! Okay, okay, okay. It's down. I'm gonna hit it for whatever I can, so... Fierce Deity costume.
my armor on again. Whew. Ow! Oh, chat, I might actually have a strategy for this. Chat. We might need to, like, try again, but... I think I can actually do this. I think this can actually be done. Oof. Got him. Okay. Uh, Alright, just what's the strongest thing I got right now? Oh, these have gloom tools, though. <sighs> Not good. Alright, th this is not going to be, like, the attempt, but, well, let's see. No, that's not good. The gloom tool is, like, the opposite of what I need here, honestly. I can totally beat this thing. We're probably just going to need to start over, though. Like, this is not going to be the attempt, but... Where'd he go? What? Why is he all the way up there? What is happening? I don't like this. I don't like it. Ah! He's going nuts, chat! Okay, this is new! This is a wrinkle I wasn't anticipating. What the actual hell? Oh, come on, they don't even stay long enough for me to get up there. WHAT IS HAPPENING?! Phase 2 is some bullshit! Oh boy. He's too far away!
Wait! I know what to do! I figured it out. Where'd he go? Oh, my bow broke. You'll automatically drop when your bow breaks. Okay. Uh, now what? Ow! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. You can't set me Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. I'm doing it again, chat. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, actually, ooh, um, first, uh, hang on, where's the exit? Hang on, uh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I need to, like, get my stuff in a row here. I need to get my ducks ready before I, uh, whoo! Hang on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do a little bit of prep work here. We gotta, actually, you know, let's just, um, I gotta cook some stuff, too, I think. Uh, maybe, uh, a little... I don't know if I'm going to need Sunderlines later, though. Maybe. I probably will. I don't want to use up my Sunderlines, though. I don't think I'll need to. Yeah, okay, right. We'll just... Alright, hang on. I'm going to cook one thing. Maybe two. Uh, oh, I've only got 15 Sunder Lines. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to those for now. Uh, but I'm going to cook some Mighty Carp. That was hilarious. That was actually... I'm not mad at all. This is great. This is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to have, like, a second one there just in case that runs out. Oops, no, I don't want that many taken out. I just want one. Nope. There we go. Whew. Okay. I've got my bow. <laughs> yeah, they totally... They had me... They had me figured there. Uh, okay. I might as well use this stuff at this point, you know? <laughs> Buff up the Master Sword there. I don't want to use the Gloom Swords. The Gloom Sword's not going to work here. Okay. Because the thing with the Gloom Swords is that they, like break more of your hearts as you're holding them, which is not good in the underground. Uh, but I do have, like, one, two, three, four, five, well, mostly these four that I can buff. I'm not gonna do the boomerang. I'm gonna buff my swords. Two, 
to Wait, which one is bigger, the mace or the saber? The saber. We're uh, we're getting some big swords here. We're bu we're getting some buff swords here, chat. Oh, that just puts, like, a mace on... Well, that still works. That's good. That makes sense, actually. Alrighty, then. That adds some nice length to it. Okay. Um... Or anything else that I want it to do? Not really. You know what you thought was going to happen? Oh, tell me. Tell me, tell me. It's only four minutes? Sorry. Right. Should have made more, I guess. I don't have time to deal with you guys. Alright, let's kill this thing. Hi, Appleton. How's it going? Good start. Drop my bow. Where'd it go? Oh, I need that. I need that. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. The wind! Uh-oh. Uh, okay, okay, okay.
Greedy. Got greedy. It's fine. It's fine. Put the armor back on. Run, 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 run. He's going up. He's going up. He's going up. He's going up. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Send me- no! Ow! No! Come on! Bruh! 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 Big one! Ow! Okay. Wait, it's dead! I killed it! I did it! I killed the King Gliok in the underground! Yes! Now we need to go kill another one. Now we need to go into the sky and kill some of the ones that are up there. I'm feeling emboldened, chat. And our prize is 600 rupees because I already got the cap. That was worth it for its own sake, though. Whoo! Boy! Alright, you know what we gotta do now is... Alright, hang on. Okay. All right. Now that I've got these ridiculous weapons, we need to uh, make use of them and take out some of the other kingly acts. Also, the boy has got, like, all three of the uh, ice cream cat toys just in a pile, and he's just holding them. It's like, these are mine now. He's so cute. Hi, Ergo. How's it going? Hope you're having a good weekend thus far. Thank you for joining us. Uh, okay. Brain. I had to sell that Twilight Cap because I already got a copy of it. Uh, what I want it to do while we're here is cook. That's what I want it to do. It's time to cook. Hope you're having a good uh, weekend, Ergo. The delightful crow boy. Let me uh, yeah, cook up some more of these. It's the good stuff. There we go. And let me cook some meat while we're at it, because I got a lot of this raw meat. I need to cook some of it. Need to use some meat, chat. Ah, 
I'm so emboldened. Uh, how many of those do I have now? What have I, what have I done here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, that's a different thing. No, get that out of here. Seven. Uh, that's more than enough. Let's cook some more just regular ass meat for when I need it. Now we need to take on some of those King Gleox that are in the sky. There's like three up there that I found. I'll actually be able to heal with the ones in the sky damaging me because technically the one in the depths would have been like the most dangerous one because of the uh, the damage. Multiple King Gleox? Yes, there are. The one that we just fought probably would have been the most dangerous one because the thing with the creatures in the depths, like that one, the stuff that's infected with the gloom, is that when they um, hit you, it reduces your max health until... Um... Oh, she's got a quest for us. We'll have to do that. Uh, when something infected with the gloom hits you, it decreases your max health until you get back into the sunlight. Um... But up in the sky, obviously, that's not going to be a problem because they're not gloom infected. Jaren, what's up? Taking the time to say all my goodbyes. Really dusty around here, so I work overtime to clean it all up. Oh, is there a... What's going on there? There's like a hole there. Working so hard that the force of my broom accidentally took out this part of the wall. Hearing this creepy voice coming from the hole I made almost sounds like a demon growling. Huh. Alright, guys, we'll have to check that. <laughs> Robbie, Grante, goodbye forever. I'll have to check that out. Who goes there before we uh, go into the sky? Uh, okay. Let me also not have, like, my super busted weapon equipped. You know, this will also give the Master Sword time to regen. What's going on in here? The Royal Hidden Passageway. Oh, hear me. Hang on, let me break this open. Gyah! Actually, I should uh, put a rock on the end of this just to strengthen it a little bit. Sense me. Oh. Okay, it is like a demon. I was not expecting that. I thought it would be like a dude. Hello. What are you? Ah, so there are still some who pay me homage. You can talk. You don't say. Can you hear my voice? Yes. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth? Like so many of your kind? Whichever it is, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power, that was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into the stone statue so long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in the village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected, but that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company, and finally, here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears, someone such as you. I'm sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible deals. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Oh, this is probably how you convert hearts into uh, stamina if you need it to. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Uh, hmm. 
Get your essence back by bargaining with it. Give it back. Did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is how you switch. I, I figured there was going to be something like this at some point. There was in the last game where you can switch your hearts for stamina. I'll take it as a heart. <clears throat> okay. So he does that. You look skeptical, not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. You must be if you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either a type of essence for one hundred rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to one hundred and twenty rupees. Uh I can yeah, harder okay. Got it. Yeah, okay, so it basically costs um twenty rupees to do it. Or you can just like sell stuff to get money, I guess. But I'm not going to do that. Is there anything this way? Oh, this is technically a cave. So yeah, there should be a bubble frog down here somewhere too. We might just have to dig to find it. There we go. Gosh dang it. Not here. Gosh dang it. This is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Oh! Hang on, chat. I found a hidden area, but it just had some mushrooms in it. Alrighty then. Okay. Where's the froggy? I need the gem. Such a tease. I know, right? Oh, there's a freaking lake lake down here. That's gross. Oh, there's more to go that way. Okay. Oh, there's a way to go that way, though. Hang on. You need to die. Uh, use this. Okay, you're dead. Good, good, good. Just teasing my balls. I'm good on shields, I think. That's better than this, technically. Alright, let's go through here. Looks like there's a bit of a maze down in this cave, but there's gonna be a bubble gem somewhere. Gonna be a gem down in here somewhere. Dang it! Yeah, we can get some bombs out of it at least. Bombs. Okay. You know the problem with trying to fight the King Gleox in the sky might be if they... What is going on here? Might be if they, uh... Eh, like, knock me off of the platform. <laughs> like, during that final phase. That could be rough. I don't feel like there's gonna be, like, a hole in that wall if I can dig to it. Have a look. I must explore. Huh? Found something down here. Oh, I haven't got a traveler's claymore in my thing yet. 
Nice. Okay. Am I, like, under the castle? I'm kind of under, like, castle town. What is that one? It's another lake lake here. There's, like, a whole ass, like, area of stuff down here. Chest. Traveler's sword. Do I have that in my uh, compendium already? Probably. Traveler's claymore. Traveler's sword, yep. Okay. Oh, hey! Nice. Got the soldier's greaves. Good on that. Let's run like through there. Are these like hiding anything? No? I thought for sure there'd be like a hidden passageway behind them. Okay. Uh, let me grab this. Do I have Traveler's Spear already? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Can I, like, read anything here? No? Okay. There was, like, an other paths to go back in the cave. Let's see here. I don't have a rock smasher on me. I guess I need to make one. Uh, what do I have here? This is a two-handed thing. Let's see. <clears throat> I think if I put like a hammer head onto the end of it, it would do the trick. Rock's fang. Yes, Hynox horn. That should do it. Yeah, where's a machop when you need one? I know, right? I'm going to chop my own way through here. Yeah, okay, that works. He knocks horns work. Okay. Just led to another chest. Another piece of the armor, maybe? Oh, no, Royal Claymore. All right, I'll take it. Oh, I need to drop something for it. Uh, drop this. Okay. Well, we got the pants out of here. That's good. I don't know if the other pieces are going to be, like, hidden somewhere else down in this, like, cave network or anything like that. Oh, I didn't go this way yet. But there was another way to go, like, down further back across from where the lake lake was. So we'll have to check that, too. Where is this leading me? I did not expect talking to Jaron to lead me down this whole network of underground tunnels. I suppose I didn't really need to go down here for that, but still. Oh, hello. Whoa. Uh, let's see here. This is like a whole ass... Oh, hang on. Oh, I've already got a picture of you, though, don't I? Yeah, style moblin. Nice toolin! Hell yeah, dude! I can go down that way? Okay. I, hang on, I need to make notes. I need to make notes. Down. Across. From where. Like like was and down river th route uh, the other side of blue rocks all right there's like alternate paths that i haven't gone down and it's getting to be much and i need to like oopsie need to keep track of where i haven't been okay Let 
me through. Dead end. There we go. What's this way? Bats. Oh, get out of here. Keys! Cheese them. Uh. Oh god! Get away! Ah! Blah blah blah! Ah, get away! Frickin' go. Eh. Oh god. Uh, owie! Thank you, Tulin. Does that go down to the same... No, this is a different area. Gosh dang, there's so many... This is like a... Alright. Into water across from other blue rocks. There's like. S this is a freaking maze, dude. I like need to keep track of where. Uh, where I've been and where I haven't been. Good god. I was just looking for a frog. Okay, there's nothing on the other side of here. Just some valuable treasures. Like the minerals. But then there's a dead end here. Okay, cool. So then we can go through this way. Let's see if this, like, loops back around to, like, the other water, maybe. What's going on? Oh, there's a lot of rocks. Hang on. I need to... I'm smashing a lot of rocks, so I need to just fuse rocks onto stuff so I can smash more. One on the Master Sword, because that'll just regen anyway. One on this thing. Uh, okay. Damn, no, boo, 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 boo. Blue rocks through underwater cave or through water cave and Big pile of rocks near same cave. There we go. Right, can I, like, stand on this? Yes. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to, like, use bombs to get through there, I think. This is a job for high explosives. What? There we go. Okay. Oh, ice lake. I got all the lake lakes already, right? Right? I think I did. I think I got all the lake lake types. Where are they on this one? Yeah, like, like, fire, like. Yeah, okay, we're good. Ah, 
Come here, you. There we go. Okay. I bet that's going to be another, uh... Ooh, that's good. Another piece of the, uh, the armored set. The soldier set, or whatever it's called. Um... Get rid of this. Cool. Nice. Okay, so now we just need the, uh, the chest piece for it. I feel like I might be able to find all the pieces to that. Around here. Oh. Okay. I just came down looking for, like, the bubble frog and getting, like, the whole ass armored set. Yeah, do I have... Question. Do I have the cap of the wild? No, it's the one piece of that set I'm missing. Of course it is. Because the Cap of the Wild is the one out of, like, the classic-looking ones that you can actually change the color of. So it's cool to have... One thing I did in Breath of the Wild near the end is I had the Cap of the Wild, like, dyed blue. And then with the, uh, the armor, like, with the same color blue. So it's still, like, linked with the classic-looking cap, but matching Hyrulean armor. That's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Okay. That looks like a lot to figure out. So let's go this way first. Might not be anything like on the other side of this really worth doing anyway. Oh, this is like heading towards the castle. Oh, where is this gonna... Oh, we're gonna find like a... Uh... We're gonna find a chasm through here, aren't we? Because... Uh... Yeah, this, I bet this is gonna be lead to an area down in the depths that we haven't been to yet. I can put this rock on that boomerang. There's like so many alternate paths to go. Good God. Oh, hang on. All right, I might have to go that way last. There's like zonite fragments down here, isn't it? Deposits. Weird. I have something I can cut with this. Well, I don't want to waste that. Oh, I can use the axe, duh. Hang on. Let me burn that down so I can go through. I'll go towards the castle last, I think, because I feel like that'll end up throwing me down into the depths somewhere. Okay, this is a dead end in here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. I'll go back there in a bit. I bet there's going to be like a Stalnox in the bottom of this or something. The question is if there are any like more paths up ahead. Or if this like drops down into something. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's see if this leads anywhere. Yep, 
Yeah, it's totally just gonna be a Stalnox at the bottom of this. Yep, I can see it. Well, at least we'll be able to get a better picture of one. Alright, let's we might as well free it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the picture I have have, have of one of these in the compendium is pretty weak, so we'll get a better one. If, assuming it wakes up. It should. Yeah, there it goes. Oh hey, a ruby. Nice. Better than what I got. No. Maybe? Pretty good. We'll go with that. Alright, let's kill him real quick. Hyrule snap. Pretty much. I'm enjoying the picture-taking aspect of it. Trying to, like, document the enemies. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? Let's use... Uh, this. Gotcha. Get away. Nope, oh, alright, fine. Get out of the water, you nerd. Come on. Got him. And it's good. Okay. Let's see. Royal broadsword. I'm going to go ahead and drop boomerang. Give me that. Thank you, Fudge. Are, are any of these like lead somewhere else, or just a big? I don't think so. I think this ends here. All right. Um, took a while to get here. I think. All right, let me run back to check out some stuff before we push ahead. No claymore. Uh, we might need that. Actually, yeah, drop the rusty claymore. Get the royal one. Oh, is there another? There's got to be more rocks around, right? There's one. Fuse that onto the royal claymore. Bop. There we go. And that'll do. Should do. Okay. Yeah, let me go back a little bit. Was it up here I came in from, I think? Just want to check some alternate paths really quick. Nope, this is not it. Oh, bomb. Thanks, Tulin. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but it's fine. Oh, I can't think I came in through over here. Yeah, 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 okay. That's clearly like the uh the ultimate path.
path through, I think, that way, because we're absolutely going to find another, uh... Yeah, I wanted to see what's this way. Oh, I think this is a dead end, just like frogs and stuff in here. All right, yeah, that's just a dead end little cave. Okay, note it. That uh, that satisfies my curiosity there. And now I just need to go back and go through the um, cave that was the other direction from where the lake lake was. So we need to find the other piece to the soldier's armor and the bubble frog okay. yeah that's where we got the other piece of the armor yeah the armor is actually going to be i'm sure the last piece of the armor is similarly going to be in oh so just down here okay so we weren't that far away from it Fine. Now let's use this. Yeah, the other piece I'm sure is going to be in another, like, little area that goes. Oh, this is another just, like, flat cave that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Okay, so those little side areas are just, like, dead ends. So this is, like, a little more linear than I thought, I think. Although I still. I'm missing, like, one of those pieces, so. Let's move on ahead and see where that gets us. And if I don't find what I'm looking for, then I can, like, go dive into this whole cave system again. And have a look and see if I missed any. So it took me a bit before I was, like, really started paying attention to the different winding paths and stuff. So the one I missed is probably near the start. I expect the frog would probably, probably be near the start as well, honestly. Okay. I also kind of have to pee. Do that in a bit. get up onto the this. Oh, upsie daisy. All right. <clears throat> okay, chat. We're going to take a second. I'm going to save the game here. And I'm going to stand up, stretch my legs, grab some more water. Chat, if you haven't moved in a while, uh, be sure to make sure that you're stretching. Make sure that you're well hydrated. And we will be right back in just a few moments powers at the same time to create a rocky flaming fist. In addition to these abilities and his innate racial traits, the Super Skrull was also endowed with a kind of super hypnosis power, allowing him to quickly mesmerize opponents. In order to fuel all of these abilities, he was implanted with artificial power receptors that draw in ambient cosmic energy. While uncharged on an Earth-like environment, each of the Super Scrolls' abilities normally operate at approximately half the strength of their Fantastic Four counterparts. However, when fully charged with cosmic energy, he could burn hotter than the torch, lift more than the thing, and stretch further than Mr. Fantastic. To maintain this level of power, the Super Skrull originally relied on an energizing beam originating from an asteroid in the Tarnax system. When the Super Skrull traveled to Earth to challenge the Fantastic Four, this power beam was routed through hyperspace conduits to reach him from an entire galaxy away. And so in their first battle, the Super Skrull easily overpowered his superhuman opponents. However, Mr. Fantastic successfully jammed the Skrullian power beam, weakening Clert enough for them to imprison him on an island in the North Atlantic. 
But this proved to be a temporary measure as the Skrulls on Tarnax were able to adjust the beam and restore the Super Skrull. As part of his revenge, he impersonated Dr. Franklin Storm, the father of the Human Torch and the Invisible Girl, sending the real Storm back to Skrull space. The fake Dr. Storm publicly dubbed himself the Invincible Man and battled the Fantastic Four. But Mr. Fantastic deduced their foe's true identity based on the powers he displayed. Not wishing to risk another failure, Emperor Dorek retrieved the Super Skrull. He also returned his captive to Earth with an explosive beam generator affixed to his body. But Dr. Storm sacrificed his own life to save his children by pressing his chest to the ground and taking the full force of the blast himself. Fearing that the Super Skrull's powers might allow him to challenge his rule, the Emperor used Clert's losses as an excuse to publicly denounce him. Doric then sentenced the Super Skrull to a mundane patrol duty along the Empire's borders. During his exile, he was manipulated by Loki into battling the mighty Thor, but was defeated and returned to his duties. He was subsequently called back to the Skrull capital when a Kree presence was detected on Earth. Not just any Kree, but one their people had battled many times, Captain Marvell. Doric offered any prize if Clert was able to learn Marvell's purpose on Earth, and the Super Skrull set his sights on the Emperor's daughter, Anel. In their first battle, Clert's varied power set allowed him to emerge victorious. Marvell was held captive, but the Skrullian psychic probes were unable to discover the purpose of his mission. The Kree hero ultimately escaped and battled. Alrighty, the I've returned, chat. I'm back once again. All right, let's see where the heck this takes us, or if it, like, drops us down into the final boss or some such nonsense. It occurs to me I don't actually know where the final boss in this game is going to be. Like, in Breath of the Wild, you could always just go to the, uh, go to Hyrule Castle, and if you were, if you were good enough to fight your way through, then you can go fight Ganon. I don't know if it's, uh, as open in this one, where you can just go f finish the game whenever you want. So... I don't know when I might accidentally stumble upon a late game area. But uh, let's smash our way through here and see what happens. Oh, hi Zant. How you doing? What's up? I'm over here. Be a good boy. There you go. Silly boy. There we go. I wonder if this is gonna like drop me back down into the area from the beginning of the game. He is the best boy. Okay, this is like just not working. What? Throw it! Oh my god. That like, did nothing. Give me the. Yeah, I can't aim with it. That would make it actually useful for this. Well, I mean, when you're smashing rocks, two-handed weapons are the best. Just like a two-handed weapon with a like a smashy rock on the end of it. Like that's that's how you break through stuff. That's clearly the intention. Zant, stop that. Because a lot of the times, like when you're breaking through stuff like this, halfway through it'll drop like a uh, a rock and a rusty claymore or something like that, so you can keep going. Gosh dang it, Fyrus, don't encourage him. Uh, I don't know, maybe we're not going to drop down into the underground. Maybe if we go back, there's a way to do it. It looks like this is where we're going to get the last um, armor piece. I do, Fyrus, I do. You're all about the chaos. And I kind of respect that. I respect it when a man knows what he likes. Zand, I swear to God! Little troublemaker. Oh? Whoa! Yeah. Okay. Wait, I should be using this. I I like the spears against the uh the stall enemies because 
you need to kind of like kill them quick, like get rid of their heads. And like the uh, the quick strikes of the uh, uh, of the spears work well with that. It's a boulder. Ooh, okay. I found the solution, chat, and it was 100% intentional. I knew that there was going to be something underneath that boulder the entire time, and that's why I took it. Because I know what I'm doing. Secret tunnel. Exactly. Do I have all of this stuff taken already? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm willing to bet I gotta be, like, under that and then ascend up into it. Yep, here we go. Get wrecked. And that's gonna be the other piece of that. Nice. Love that for me. Okay. Well, that's all the pieces to the armor. Now, the only thing I'm missing down here is the bubble frog. Which I'm convinced is, like, closer to the start. Uh, okay. <laughs> Off with his head! Yeah, the thing with those style enemies is that they'll keep regenerating endlessly if you don't destroy their head. Yeah, like, also, you, but you can also one-shot them, like, with headshots. If you do, if you have, like, a strong enough bow and arrow, and, uh, get, like, a, uh, hit them right in the head, then it will one-shot them. Uh, okay. Wait. That's where I came from. That opened up that. But I didn't go this way. Yeah, truffle. Nice. This goes up around. Oh, uh, I still might be going towards the chasm. There's definitely going to be a chasm in here somewhere. Get me through. can't see. Okay. This way? Oh, maybe. Cool. Man, this is going deep. This is going deep, chat. Is this a dead end? What? Huh. Okay. I guess it ends here. Interesting. We got all the armor pieces. There's got to be a chasm somewhere around, though. There's like so many hints of it. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're not done. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Do I need to, like, smash up? Ah, nah, dig up, stupid! I can't ascend through this, can I? No, I can't. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh! What? I did open up a different area. Huh. Okay. Huh. 
Dang it. Oh god. Huh! My dusk bow! No, where'd it go? Gimme. Damn it! God, the like likes are so gross. But I like that they're gross because they're kind of supposed to be. The like likes should be disgusting. Ooh! That's new. I guess I can drop this now because I do have better bows. Gotta get a picture of that. Oh god, hang on camera. Cool. Uh, alright. Fifty, that's pretty nice. Uh, what's that? Nope. Alright, okay, we're going deeper. Oh, is this... There's the frog! I finally found it! I didn't think it was going to be this deep in. Okay. Now I think we just need to find the chasm. I feel like we're getting closer and closer to it. Unless this is like the end. Unless the frog was the very end of this. Now oh, there's gotta be a chasm somewhere. There's gotta be. I'm feeling good though. We got all the pieces of the armor. We got the frog, so... Oh god. This is a pretty well-designed little uh, dungeon area kind of thing. Oh, but there is... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, d I do think I want to set this on fire to make it easier to get up. It's like up there is where I can keep going. I get that out of the way. This is a well-designed little uh, little area. I like it. This, has been, this is fun. Okay. Oh, is this the end, though? This could be the end. This could be the end. This is the end. My only friend. The end. Yeah, I think... Uh, unless there's another way to go... I think we may be done, chat. Hmm. So yeah, you like find all the, uh, the armor pieces on the way and at the very end is where the bubble frog is. Wait. No, thought there might have been like another little hole to go in or something, but no. Hi, Zant. Hmm. Hi! Meow! Do you want to say hi to everyone? Hang on. Come here. No, come here, then. All right, well, fine, then. Don't come here. Why are you even yelling at me? I wanted to try and let them hear you meow. Yeah, let me fix it. All right, whatever, fine. Be that way. Weirdo. Ah, okay. If I go up, where does this take me? Like to the surface?
Yep. Oh yeah, like right here. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, I guess we are done down here. I do need to go talk to Jaren again anyway to turn in that quest. I should do that. Oh, we like went all the way across there, just underground. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh my god, the boy. He's so cute. He's so cute. It's a pain in the ass, but I love him. <sighs> okay. We Heckin' adorable. Oh yeah. I'm going to go kill another Gliok. It's going to be great. Goodbye forever, Jaren. I broke the wall and angered the demon, and I'll be paying for it with my life. You did what? You went inside the hole? Oh, Jaren, for you, I got no problem going in the hole. Is... is this goodbye for me? Wait, a demon statue was in there, you say? I know a bit about those. Wanna know what I know? Of course. A dealer in life and power, touched by the wrath of the goddess, fallen to ruin. That must mean that the horned statue is an entity who deals in life and power, which would make the dyes and the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. The voice I heard was a forlorn horned statue. Okay. Like, like light and dark, one cannot exist with the, without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Oh, I'll take the 20 bucks. <laughs> Thank you, Jaren. Alright, that's that one settled. Okay, then. Let's go. Alright, I was going to check the other Colosseums for other... Um... enemy types for the thing, um, for the compendium. Uh, but first, let's go kill another Gliok. There's three up here? Yeah, three that I found up here. I think this will be the easiest one to get to over here because I can just build a flying vehicle out of stuff over here. Is this where we Was that the one that had the stuff that I built a flying vehicle out of? Or was it another one? I think it was that one. I don't remember. I think this island here had stuff for it. Let me see. I guess I can always just use the stuff I have in my inventory for it anyway. Oh my god, he's so cute. Okay. Max amount of rupees is not as much as you thought it would be. Oh, in uh, in which game? In this one or in um, uh, Phantom Hourglass? This? No, oh, I actually don't know what the maximum is yet. Uh, let's see. Where is... Yeah, I can build a thing over here. Yeah, it's like 999 in Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm just going to grab this vehicle rather than even building another one. I'm just going to grab this and head to the, uh... The Gliok Island. I think I've already got, like, enough stuff for it. Yeah, the weapons I got should do the trick. So we'd be down here. 
red. Okay. Let's see if we can get all the way down there. Well, I think I see it. Yeah, it's just right there. Okay. Eh, good to know. I was kind of curious about that. I feel like that's the kind of a max that you would never really get up to in this game. I feel like in this one they just they just set it up so that you would never actually hit it. You know? I feel like other Zelda games, they expect you to max it out, because, you know, even in those, you've got... So that's, the, that's the thing, in this one, they, you don't have to get, like, an increased wallet or anything like that to hold more. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I should be able to get over there with this vehicle without too much problem. Yeah, some have that and some don't. Okay. Let's see, what am I going to need for this Gliok? Probably going to want this for it. Yeah, that makes sense for Phantom Hourglass. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if I'm gonna want to, like, use one of my... Th How close am I there? Oh, I'm still, like, pretty far away, technically. Yeah, I'll use a large thing to refill my, uh... My battery in a minute here. When it's, like, down near the bottom. And that'll carry me the rest of the way. It should, anyway. Make down to like the last battery. There it is. Yeah. So hang on, when I use this, does it refill the whole thing? It does, yeah. You don't use your batteries are drained. Oh god. Good old fee. Didn't know when to shut the hell up. No, this might work out if I, like, because I'm going to be over it, so if I, like, drop down to where the Gliok is, I can just, like, arrow shot the heck out of it. Navi or Fee? Probably Fee. Just because Navi, you, like, outside of, like, cutscenes and stuff like that, she doesn't, like, she yells at you. Like, you got, like, the hey, listen thing going on. But she doesn't actually, like, stop you at any point unless you, like, actually press the button to listen to her. And we're just about over it here now. Alright. So I'm going to... Yeah, when I get down there... Got the right bow selected, right? Yep. Yeah, I think anything anything that, like, interrupts gameplay, like, actually stops you from doing something, that's always, like, the more annoying thing. I-M-H-O. Alright. Let's munch on one of these, and then... Hang on. 
Oh. I guess I should be doing... Yeah, the strategy I used before to switch to this when, I, when I'm smacking them. That'll increase my damage way more. Do you think Gliaka the Sky knows Gliaka the Underground? Uh, yeah, they probably have, like, head measuring contests. I should have said neck measuring contests. Oh god. Okay, that hurt way too much when I didn't have my armor on. Uh, let's see, sort. that earlier. Ooh. Oh no! Get up! Get up! Okay. Huh. 
Young Link's Smash Amiibo had the same chip as a Majora's Mask Link Amiibo. Oh, it doesn't? Huh. I thought for sure it would have been. Weird, he doesn't give you the breath... Oh! I didn't know that. That's like the one I don't have. I have like all the Zelda series branded ones, but I haven't gotten the Young Link Smash one yet. Where'd he go? Oh, he's doing this nonsense. Okay. Shenanigans. Just gives you the Royal Claymore? That sucks. It's super weird that it's not the same one. Yeah, and this one you don't actually need the amiibo to get any of the costume. They're all hidden in-game. Which is good. I like that. Yeah, the Amiibos are definitely cool to have. Okay, so it looks like the Gleox are designed that once they start doing their shenanigans, you take them down, they die. That's good. Yeah, I wouldn't buy any Amiibos just for the, uh, like, the in-game benefits. Gleox guts. Oh, do I need to take pictures of any of this stuff? My album is full. Oh, hang on. Uh, select delete. Select all. I'm gonna keep these. Uh, delete the rest. I don't think the other one, World 1, dropped them, or I just forgot to check. Could be my B. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. But now I can open up the chest that was down here. Which I think is going to be a Sage's Will, if I had to guess. And now I know what those are for. Those are for, like, upgrading the sages. Which I've already done with two in here. Nice. Alrighty, then. Now, there is a... Colosseum down there. That we can go... Uh, see if there's anything we can get for the compendium in that. 
Yeah, I wanted to check the other underground coliseums just for stuff to add to the compendium. But we're getting pretty we're getting there in terms of like enemies. I wonder what's I wonder what this one is here. Another kind of Stalnox thing? Or a Hinox thing? Probably ooh, silver Hinox horn. I haven't found a silver Hinox yet. I need a thunder choo choo at some point. Rock, octa rock. I don't know what the other octa rock is. We got water, forest, rock, treasure. Is there like a fire one or something maybe? Uh, no, the gliok w uh, wing is not uh, not a thing. Not that's something that's annoying about it, is that not every single material goes into the compendium. Um. But you can tell if something does or not is or is not. Anything that goes into the compendium, you'll see it like on the camera screen like that. And if the name is blue, then you've already got it. If it's orange, then you don't. So I like looked over it with the camera and it didn't have the name there, so it's not part of the compendium. I could just teleport down, but I'm going to do this. Yeah, the I don't think any of the enemy wings. It's like the whole, let me see here. Like in terms of materials. Yeah, like the wings were never materials. The lake like stones are, the horns are materials. Missing like another Aracuda thing, I think. Yeah, so eyeballs, stones, horns. horns and fangs but not wings none of the wings are drop from the sky and go right into the uh, right into the underground Whew, just had to take a second to load there this game is pretty seamless with loading sometimes, but even then I had to be like, oh, so, slow down a second, buddy. I think this one might have Lizzlefos. I don't know. No, this one's just Bokoblins. Okay, so regular Bokoblins I've got, I'm sure. Actually, let me look. And see what, if any Bokoblins I'm even... Like, is there even a point to doing this right now? <clears throat> Let's see. Where are the Bokoblins? Here they are. So, regular... Red, blue, black, style, silver, boss, blue boss, silver boss. I'm just missing, like, the black boss Bokoblin, which is probably not one of those down here. I don't think there's any boss Bokoblins down here, so I don't think I even need to do this one. Yeah, I think I just need a black boss Bokoblin. Yeah, I've got I've got the red, the blue, and the silver. I'm missing the black out of those. These are all just like regular ass ones in here. Okay. Oh my god, Tulin took care of those himself. He's amazing. Alright, cool. I don't need to do this one then. Uh, we can go check the secluded one. Alright. This furry sausage roll over here. Thank you for hanging out, Jake Story. I appreciate it. Look at this boy. Look at that boy. Dat boy. Love dat boy. Alright. Okay. Oh, Shakespeare says it's treat time before he goes. Alright, we'll do that. We'll wake up the boy. Here you go. 
He loves it. Aww. Take a sip of my Wawa there. Aww, sweetums. Oh, Fudge says I should hydrate and stretch. That's probably a good call, too. I'll do that. I'll do it. Let me sippy sip. Let me stand up for a second. Alright. Oh, bones! Oh! Thank you, Fudge. I appreciate it. Snap those bones back into place. Good gravy. Okay. Yeah, let me see if there's anything I need to take a picture of in the isolated coliseum over here, or secluded one, whatever it was called. I can probably take on the other... I'll probably wait to take on those other two King Gliaks in the sky for when I actually need more of the uh, Sage's Will. I'll take care of that, like, then. Because by that point, I should have... I'll have more Sages with me. Where am I? Uh, I mean, I could take on one more while I've got the beefed up weapons. So it would make sense to use them on something like that. But I can also use them in the Colosseums for these. Like, I beefed up the weapons, so I want to, like, use them. You know, on something worthwhile and not just rando enemies. Yeah, nah. You gonna, you guys know, you all know, you know. We the goop. Okay. It's really not a closer place to warp to those, huh? It's a uh, black Hinox. Yeah. I feel like the hardest one for the compendium is going to... The enemies I don't think are going to be too bad, because obviously we're going to find a lot of enemies as we go. But uh, s some of the weapons might be tricky, and also just the animals are probably... The animals are probably, like, actually the hardest one. Tool and little help. I feel like the animals are actually the hardest one. But this is the kind of thing, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to go 100% on the compendium and stuff like that, but I'll, like, do as much as I can, and then, like, after we beat the game, like, I'm going to do as much as I can and then finish the game, and then after that, maybe use, like, some guides and maps and stuff to, uh, complete things that we missed, and then finish the game again. <laughs> kind of like what we did with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, this is the Lizalfos ones, so... That's the fire-breathing ones. Let's see here. Use the Master Sword down here because it works in the depths. What, uh... thing do I have on right now? That. Tool and help! Oh god, an enemy followed me in here too. That's annoying. Dang it. What? I did 
I want to have this selected right now. Hang on a sec. Okay. Nice job, Tulin. Hell yeah. Okay, that's one of the, that's the Lizzle folks I was missing, the ice one. Oh no 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 Okay. Uh okay. I'm still missing one Lizzle Fos. That's the so fire, ice, electric. There's the silver. Okay, so there's green, blue, black. What is the other one I'm missing? Like a rock Lizzle Fos or something? Or the probably the skeleton one. Yeah. It's gonna is the skeleton one, which I don't know if there's any of those down here. Okay, so we're gonna piece out of here, I think. Although the skeletal lizard folks should show up in the underground somewhere, right? I think so. I don't know if there's any in there. That's just a silver one. Okay. Yeah, I think if I faff about in the underground, I'd probably find a skeletal Lizzlefoss. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though. Let's see. Let's go to the other. So I'm done here, I think. Got the ice one. That's what I needed. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Okay, so for... Bokoblins were done, Lynels were done. Lizzle folks, I just need the skeletal one. What about moblins? Oh, for I also need the black boss Bokoblin. For moblins, I need red and black. I think there might be. Is this the Moblin Stadium? It might be. Let's go there. This warp's pretty close to it. Hopefully there's Moblins in here and we can get a basic one and a black one. And then we'd be good on Moblins. Heck yeah, Ryan. Also, we're going to need our uh, heat gear for here so we don't catch on fire. Let's see. Here it is. Oh, I've got this stuff leveled up all the way, too. That's great. I made sure to do that. Okay. Let's hit up this Coliseum real quick. Who is this? Ooh, this might be where... There's, there's a big skeleton here. This might be the one that I missed, actually, to get the... Because uh, uh, I've noticed that the... Uh, uh, Hero of the Wild gear has been inside, like, skeletons. Hmm. I don't know if the head of this is around anywhere, though. It's been in, like, great skeletons, specifically, which are tend to be marked on the map, though. Like, one of them was, like, down here, for example, I think. Yeah, Great, great Garut, Garut of Dark Skeleton. That's what they're called. So that was a big one there. I need uh, so I feel like I'm looking for one more dark skeleton. I've already did this. I can delete that stamp. I don't think that's what that is. Okay. That might be something we'll find when we're like doing post-game stuff. Uh, let's see here. Go around the other side. Or I can just climb up and in. We'll do that. Rather than try and find the entrance. Alright, hopefully this is the Moblin one. I think it probably is. So we visited the other ones I found. I'm pretty sure I found a Moblin one. I, you know, I might end up finding... Because there is that, like, one area in the sky we still didn't get to that has, like, the storm in it. I might end up finding, like, an old map that points me towards the, uh, the last piece of that. Whew. Now, 
Is this the Moblin one? Yep, there they are. There's the basic ones. Beautiful. What? Awesome. Right, let's ace these guys out real quick. Uh, let's see here. I've got this stuff that I can... I'll oh, hang on to that for now. A spear would die. Okay. Easy enough. So I've got the blue one. Those are the blue ones. Uh, okay. I'll do it. Okay. I think that's it for Moblins. Yeah, so Moblin, Blue, Black, Stal, Silver. Yeah. And then I just need the Stal Lizzle folks, and we're good there. Beautiful. Hi, Maya. How's it going? Are you having a good weekend? Thank you for joining us. Lovely Maya. Okay. the heck is in, like, the starting area here? Oh, it might be some of the other, like, rare, like, unique horses. I should try that. Actually, okay, let's do that. Let me go to... Yeah, we're done here now. This is good. Let me just go to a stable real quick. Go to the riverside one. That's cute. The boy is doing a heckin' sleep over there. Look at him being a little cutie. Sleepy, friggin' hairy sausage over there that he is. I can go for some sausages. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if, like, the other horses are technically, like, some of the rare, unique ones. Oh, I just remembered that I needed to sell the Cap of Twilight, too, because i got two of them now. Something I forgot to do earlier. I can do that now in a sec. Let's see. We'll sell that to Beetle. Look what I've got! Uh, yeah, you can have this. Baller. Okay. Cool. Let's see. I want to take out the giant one. Thought he said screw that for a second there. Yeah, nothing can fit the uh, the giant one. Yep, giant horse is a separate thing. Okay, and the golden one might be another one? I don't know. Oh. 
Oh, Aragorn is another one. Although, do you count as a giant horse? I don't know if Aragorn is going to be different than Goliath or not. Might count as another giant one. Giant white stallion. Okay, still different, technically. Yeah, I guess I, I got some big ones. Big horse. And then I can take out the golden one. Orin. Yeah, take the uh, the harness off of it. Ooh, I gotta put the royal saddle on you, yeah. Do you have the royal bridle on already? Yeah, put the royal one on. What do I want to do for your mane? And the floral one on. Put the mohawk on this one for now. That's good. I don't know if you count as another one or not. Golden horse, it does. Okay, cool. All right, and then we're going to get my regular horse out. Epona, come to me. <clears throat> All right, wonderful. Now, all right, so that... Uh... Okay, yeah, so the one I'm missing up on top here is going to be like the white horse. I'm assuming you'll be able to get in this game again. If it's in the compendium. Uh, okay, so what do I want to do now? So I still have... A couple of redonkulous weapons. That I could use to take on the other Gliok. That's what I want to do. While I've got the weapons, we're going to go Gliok it up. So let's see, there's one up in the top left here. That one's not that hard to get to. And there's one down there. It's a bit far away from everything. So let's go here. <laughs> Extreme! I love Lindakara. I need to get uh, cut, uh, caught up on his videos again. I'm fairly behind at this point. I haven't watched it in a bit. Every so often I like get caught up on his, uh, on his reviews. They're always fun. Okay, so we're going to go over this way and fight another big three-headed dragon. Oh yeah, I need to get around to that one. I haven't, I haven't watched that yet. Uh, oh, it's cold up here. That's not good. That's unfortunate. I wonder if it's going to be cold on the Gliok thing. That would be bad. I've got to, like, wear reduced armor in order to not freeze. I guess at that point I would be better off just, like, cooking something. In fact, that's what I'm going to do, just in case. Pull out a cooking pot. And then, uh... Let's do the sun shrooms, I think. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, cool. Oh, Ryan says it's street time. Let's do it. Good buddy. Good boy.
Where's Big Flu? She's probably taking a nap somewhere else. She doesn't always hang out in here. She's a... Uh, sometimes she just, like, sneaks off and to, like, a nice cool closet to, uh, to relax and take a nap. This, this one usually likes to be in the same room as me. He's very sweet. Aww. Look at how cute he is. What a handsome lad. What a good boy. Oh my god, I love him. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going that way. Alright, let me build a vehicle to get me there. Oops. I'm also going to need to get more of those fans. I can buy some more. I'll do that when we're done. Uh-huh. Chat, don't let me forget to get more fans after I uh, kill this dragon. Let's see, where is the dragon? Just over here. Oh shoot! Why'd I? Ah, I pressed the wrong button, chat. I'm reloading that autosave. <sighs> okay. 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 Let's try this again. From the top. Okay, and... Yeah, that's the right one. I pressed the wrong button, chat. Okay. Red, and then... I wonder, actually, does this one disperse fans? I can just do it right now if it does. It does not. Alright, fine. Be that way. I nice mean, you can just get whatever you want it from whatever one of those. But whatever. What, 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 what? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Try this again. Okay, this is like up a little bit. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, that's where the Gliok is. That's where the dragon is. Oh, that boy's going to town on his own butthole, isn't he? Look at him go. Ready to slay another dragon, chat? I am the Gliok Killer. I am become death. Hanging over there? No? Okay. Ascend? Oh, there it is. There's the Dargon. There's the dragon, Doragon. Doragon. Oh god. Hang in there, machine. Oh, am I gonna make it without using one of those battery things? Maybe. Uh oh. It sees me. Oh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need to equip this. And then I think this. Oh no, what? Pressing wrong buttons left and right here. Ch oh god. Oh, I'm on the edge. What? No, 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 no. Ah, mistakes were made, chat. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <gasps> Wait. Yes. I think we're okay. Wait. I think it auto-saved us in a good spot. Hang on, chat. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, suck it. Good time to use the demon bows. Ow! My body. Time to move! to eat something. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. Ah! My bow! Come here, you! Okay. to go oh boy Let's see. 
G N M E B A B C D F G Uh-oh. All I got is attention chat. Mosara Call Mosara Okay, okay, okay. Whoo Okay, 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 okay. Ow! Get up! Gotta go. I did see that. It looks super rad. Oh god. Don't I go on? Don't I go on? Oh, he's doing his nonsense. Okay. Hang on. I need to. Machi machi. He, like, killed me somehow, and I had to use a fairy. What the hell was even that? hands on you, you son of a bitch. Right. Oh, golly gee. <clears throat> Upsy daisies. 
Linky wants uppies. Wait, it's not dead! There we go. Now it's dead. Whew! Holy heckaroni. Alright, there we go. Oh. Uh, right. I'm the vic victory dance. Okay. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Was that good? Oops, that was the wrong button. There we go. Give me this. Nice. Bug? Oh, give me. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Yes! Saving the game after that. Okay. So there's one more Gliok up in the sky here. We could try and take care of it now. What stuff do I have? I do still have several good bows. And a couple of good weapons for sure. Yeah, alright. I'm going to do it. Chat's gonna be sick of seeing me, like, try to take on giant dragons. But you know what? I wanna do it. I wanna. I also need to do... It's a bunch of stuff I need to do around. Okay. So, let's go here. Oh, right, I needed to buy fans. Let's go do that. <clears throat> Then we can take on that last King Gliok. I said I was going to wait for those, but I mean, I've got the good weapons for them now. Hydrate and stretch? Alright, I, I will do. I will do. Yeah, I sippy sip. And then I stand. Ugh. Ugh, that's good. Ugh, thank you, Ryan. <sighs> Fix my underpants while I'm at it. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okie dokie. Ugh. Let me buy some fans from this guy. I will take ten fans. Take some more carts while I'm at it, I guess. And I do use the pots, so we'll take some of those. I use the steering sticks a lot, so we'll take some of those. And I'll take some batteries, so I'll use some now, actually. Wonderful, wonderful, wunderbar. All right, so let's go over here. Go off yonder. Then we can take on that last Gliok, and then it'll be done.
then, because it takes four sages' will. Let me see something here. It takes four sages' will for me to upgrade one sage. Um, when I do this, I'll have thirteen. I'll have fourteen. So I'm gonna assume that there's like two more sages' will that I haven't found somewhere. That would be my assumption there. Okay, so let me go ahead and change this to probably in the fair and sky. Hopefully that's where they are. So otherwise it means I missed them somewhere else. One, two, three, four. Take out this and a stick. And take out four batteries too. Use that. And we'll build my old flying device. Bop, bop, bop. We can stick these batteries on to make it fly for longer so we can get over to the Gerudo area. That is not where I wanted you to go. Bop. Oopsie. Ah, gosh dang it. Gosh diddly darn it. Heckaroonie. This way. Fly! Whee! And away we go. Just gonna be over there, huh? No? That's not where it is? No, it's somewhere else here. Hecaroni <laughs> and cheese? Oh, that's a good one. I like that, Shiro. Also, I don't think I properly said hi to you earlier, so hi, Shiro. Hope you're having a good weekend. Where's the... Oh, I see it. It's all the way over there. Yeah, this one's kind of far away. We'll get there, though. Then, I know that, uh, underneath that... Eh, pretty close to underneath. I know there's a, uh, a shrine in the Gerudo town. So I can probably, like, after I kill this Gliok, I can probably jump down there and get that. And kind of go from there while we're while we're above the neighborhood. At some point, I need to get to doing the water temple because, like I said, that's the temple I found. That uh... oh, there's a thing there. Ah, I'm busy. I can't get that right now. Look, while playing Pokemon, yay! Nice. That's a that's like a PvP. Pokemon like MOBA, right? I've not played it at all, but I mean, it's cool to see the brand doing that kind of, uh, like, you know, different stuff. You know, there is uh, um, legitimate criticism for the Pokemon franchise for, like, the main series. You know, not innovating quite enough, even though I guess, like, the newest ones, when they have tried to innovate, it's been weirdly unpolished for a Pokemon game the last couple of times on the Switch. But, um, at least for the side games, they always do, like, different stuff and try interesting things. It's gonna be quite a trip here, isn't it? I'm wondering if, like, going down into Gerudo Town is going to start, like, another whole thing. Also, I don't know if there's going to be five total sages or four. So I got one. There's three more. If, uh, if the total number of sages is only four that I get, that means that, uh... 
you get more Sage's Will than you actually need? Or maybe you get the ability to, like, upgrade them twice and I'm missing way more than I think. Oh well. That's gonna be the kind of thing that after we beat the game, we'll use like a map to find what we're uh, what we're missing. Yeah, I'm gonna to need to use a battery here. Pop one of these. Running out of that cold resistance potion. What do I need? Oh, should I have made another one of those? Oh, it is cold over here. Dang it. Oh, I should have made another one. Do I have a cold resistance thing? Oh, I have one. Okay. We're Gucci. We're all good, then. I have a cold resistance thing. I was worried for a second there. I think it's mostly cold because it's night. So we're in the, uh, above the desert area. But it also makes sense it would be cool just this high in the sky anyway. Okay, what do I have? I've got that bow. That sword, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are. Let's get this going. Okay. There. Press the wrong button again. Get him, Tulin. Run. Okay. Get up. Oh, crap. Oh, God! Frickin' heck! Okay. Oh god! Where'd the bow go? Where'd the bow go? Where'd the bow go? Whew!
Okay, okay, okay. Ew, I just let notice the tongue go to blah, 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 blah. Ah. Ooh, child. doing the thing. Let's go get it. Uh-oh. Oh! Ow! 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 Oh, the vehicle was a bad idea. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, ideas were bad. I had an idea and it was not a good one. Thank God for fairies. Hoo-hoo! Jesus! Where's it continue me from? Trying to use the vehicle was a bad idea. That was a terrible, terrible idea. That did not work out. It just dropped a lightning on me. Oh. See, so just like... Yeah. Maybe we'll do this later. Maybe I'll come back to this one when I've got more things. Alright, I'm just gonna... Well, uh, I am here! Th Alright, bitch. Alright, bitch. That's the way you- Oh, God! All right, then. Oh, God in heaven! That's the way you want it. That's the way Daddy's gonna play it. Frick, why do I keep trying to do the same thing? I'm a fool. Oh, God in heaven. Just let me do the thing. Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop shooting me! Ah! I'm so mad.
Time to go. Okay. Okay. Ho! Oh. Ooh, baby. Go! Uppies! Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uppies! Uppies, uppies, uppies. Uppies! Uh oh. Not, not enough uppies. Is he doing the thing? I think my vehicle despawned anyway, so it's not like I can try that again. Dragon. Ooh, that's a big one. Gotcha, bitch. It's 
Almost there. Oh, bitch. mean with lightning bolts. It's dead. I think it's dead. Let's frickin' go. Yeah. I'm the slayer of Gliax. Alright, that was the last one. That I know of, anyway. The last King Gliax. Funnily enough, I've never actually killed any of the regular ones. We went right to the king. The first Gliok I killed was the gloom-infested King Gliok in the depths. So, I do everything ass-backwards in this game. So my theory is that there's two more of those, hopefully in the, uh, the cloud storm. Do this. Let's go get that. Let's go to Gerudo Town. See what's going on down there. While we're here and all. Okay. Looks like there's still a pretty big storm in the desert around. There do be a storm afoot. Here we be. Let me in. All right, what's in this one? Bury delight, bury delight. Ooh. I guess we're gonna need to use like this. I blew the sand away. There's a chest. Well, that might be the key. Yep. 
Nice. But think. Bring this just in case I need it. Need to find another. Oh, there's an enemy. I think I've got all the soldier constructs though. Here. Whoop. Let's blow some of this sand away. Uh huh. This could be the hidden chest, maybe? No? Oh, hang on. Oh, could be. I don't want to just carry this like this. Fan Guster. Okay. Oops. Okay, nothing really in here. Just some dudes. Okay. So I need like a light shine. Oh, hang on. What's up here? That might be where the uh, the chest is. Let's have a look. No. No, I think this is progress, actually. Oopsie. Okay. Blow all this away. Blow, blow, blow. There we go. There's the mirror. Or there's the light beam we need to use for with the mirrors. Okay. That goes right there, so I take this. I send the light out there. I'll go back around. Okay. Ooh, no, I needed to send a light out of this way. Wait, can I do that? What? Hang on. Oh, wait, I put it up too high, I think. Did I? Wait. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, I can just, I can just angle it. Okay, okay, I can angle it correctly. I understand. that. That'll do it. Should be able to, anyway. Good old-fashioned uh, mirror puzzles. Oops. I can't see. There we go. That did it. Where the heck was the additional chest, though? I didn't see it. Is it in here somewhere? No, it's, it's never in here. Where is the other chest? Is it not one in here? Oh, up there, I see. Oop, 
Dang it. Eh, balls. Hang on. Wait a second. Can I... I like put one of those on top of the other. That's not gonna... No. What if I glue them together, though? Maybe. More wind? More uppies? Can I... There we go. I might need... I think I need to put it closer to the wall. Climb it, Link! Climb it. There we go. Okay. Now I can use the weapon that I got from the enemy that was in here. There we go. Beautiful. And another shrine bites the dust. Do 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 do. Stuff on the map in this area looks real interesting. It is hot as hell, though. I don't know if I have an outfit for that yet. Don't think I do. Wait, what was this? Oh, wait, no. That just makes my attack higher in hot weather. Okay, I'll just have to cook something. That's fine. Let's see, what have I got here that can cool me down? Do I have a... Oh, I've already got some stuff for it. Duh. Well, I took out the pot. I might as well cook another one. Uh, Chillfin. Oh. Dang it. Cook. There we go. Okay. I actually want to start at kind of the uh, the entrance here. Ooh, sand seals. That's totally something I need to take a picture of. Oh. What happened with Gerudo Town here? Hmm. Another thing for the compendium. Oh. There's a Gibdo here. Creepy. Whoa! Uh, fire maybe? There we go. Yeah, fire still works on Gibdos. Gibdo bone. Ooh. This place looks abandoned. Let's 
Something happened here. Okay. At least they don't turn into re-deads when you kill them this time around. Oh, also, I should see if the Gibdo bone is in the compendium. It is. Okay. Another one down. Give those bones to me. Pfft. Someone's boyfriend in here. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's the one that was missing there. Okay. Some materials. I'm I'm missing eleven materials. We're almost done. I'm missing a pumpkin. I think. Another Stelnox horn. Oh, yeah, it's all stuff on the bottom there. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Now, let's have a look around the town here. Hmm. Oh, that look. Oh, there's actually a Gerudo down there. All right, hang on. Before I do that, I want to have another look around. I want to kind of finish looking around, and then we can go down there. Kind of figure out what happened. Oh. around here. Oh, I didn't go down in here yet. Oh? Didn't count as a well on the map, but, oh, hang on, this is gonna send me somewhere, probably. Oh, there's a bottle! It's you, at long last. You, the Voe reading this letter, are the Voe I was fated to meet. And I am the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I am locked away from the outside world. Do not worry, though. I will send all of my love to you until you come and find me. Stay safe and know that we will meet soon. It is our destiny, after all. Caliban. Okay. I'm guessing that got... Oh. Is she, like, tossing a bunch that say the same thing? All right, well, obviously we gotta, like, trace those back to their source. We're gonna go find our new wife. Apparently. Also, interesting that I don't think this counts as a cave or a well or anything like that. Oh, was she the one that was... Oh, okay, so she was the one that was up there. Can I climb the rope? I don't think I can. Alright. Up we go. Oh. A vo! There's a vo here! Stop him! Oopsie daedalus. Okay, so I'm still not allowed in there, there because I'm a man. Vo, we're not permitted to be here. You must leave at once. Hold on. Ooh, Buliara. It has been some time, swordsman. All, it's all right. This one has the chief's permission to enter, and he is welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word, let everyone know this is the case. For you to come all the way here, enduring the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. 
The Princess of Hyrule is still missing? We had heard of the events at Hyrule Castle, but this, things are dire indeed. Still, swordsman, I mean, Link, I am impressed you made it through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. The sand shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent our patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but... A swarm of monsters, creatures called Gibdos, suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos have even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to the shelter for their safety. Some charged with pro uh, as someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I am ashamed of our current situation. This is to say that, although I wish I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you are hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh my god, she's cute. You better not be speaking to that Vo. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay. Hydro melons, I got a bunch of those already. Oh, she's following me around. It's adorable. Were you the one tossing the bottles? You were! Oh. Here's a shroom. Iron shroom. Oh my gosh, she's following me around. That's adorable. Uh, zap shroom. Chill shroom. Rock salt. Hylian rice. I'll get some more rice. I haven't been able to see your husband. It's left you a little frazzled. Okay. Oh, let me get some. Uh, what we got. Uh, let me get some arrows. Oh, I do need some more of that choo-choo jelly, actually. I do need red choo-choo jelly to upgrade the, uh, the cold gear. Get some more of this while we're at it. Yeah. I don't remember how much I need for, uh, to upgrade the thing. Uh... Is there a spot I can rest near here? Oh, I can uh, get some of this stuff. Also, you have a quest? You're the chief's guest. This is a bow. His ears look to be about the circumference of his head and the neck. Interesting. You'll be the first bow I've ever seen. You got a little carried away figuring out your measurements. I think accessories. Mm hmm. Okay. Duga territory. Okay. Let me uh, get these while we're here. Get the ruby one. Oh, you can just buy them in this one. You don't need to get them made with the pieces. I think in the last one you needed to actually like provide the sapphire to buy the circlet and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, cool. That's some more, uh, some more clothes for the collection. They are all right here. Cool. Fabulous. I still say that lippy color is perfect on Link. Looks real good. Okay. Uh, let's see. You had a quest, too. Uh-huh. Archaeologist. Much work. I've finally deciphered these slates. 
Yes, tell me. The Stella over there and on the left says, Seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their secrets will be expressed on six Stella. Uh-huh. Hi, Zant. Please don't step on my keyboard. I don't for a long, long time. Uh-huh. Okay. We're not seven, but one or eight. That's a good boy. These stelae definitely support the theory of eight. Okay. Remember that orb from the last game? I like put it in the statues to get something. It's like a shrine quest, I think. Okay, so I need to like take pictures of those or something. Okay, not gonna worry about that right this second. I don't think that's actually breakable. Let me see here. I don't think this is actually breakable stone. That has like a different texture from what it normally has. Oh, it is! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's what she's looking for. They're like around here. Okay. I thought they'd be like somewhere else. Okay, maybe I will do this then. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> Probably not on this side. No, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Find the four still A. Are they all around here, I wonder? people in there. I can't go through. Can go this way. Oh my goodness, hang on. The sex ed class? <laughs> in terms of the teaching, the Vo and you class of the Gerudo. You set your heart on the special someone? Maybe. You don't hold anything back, do you? Most vi, are, uh, most vi value honestly in a Vo. That's a good trait for you to have. Welcome to sit down and lesson if you're interested. Vo aren't normally allowed in town, so it would be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe you can come by in the evening? That class is for the older Gerudo. Oh. The daytime class is for younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a Vo. Okay. Well, it's 9.50 p.m. now. Does look like it's the older ladies here now. Count me in. Hi. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Today we're going to have a very special lesson. We have a Vo here with us. <laughs> Just try to relax and be your regular normal selves when you're talking to him. All right. Oh. Nolly, I know you can do this. Mm. Teacher, I... I can't. I can't look directly at his face. Oh. That's okay. We can stop here for now. Mm. You'll have to do something about that fear eventually. And I think once you muster the courage to face a foe, even just one time, your fear will wash away forever. Hey, buddy. Oh. I'm sorry. I imagine that was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? See, she's never seen a Vo in person. She's only seen them in drawings, like in or in recreations, like in the Vo dummies. S suspect that if you hid your face, it would be easier. Probably just too early to make eye contact while chatting. No. Yeah, I'll have to come back when I've got like a mask or something. Well, I do have that big dumb mask. 
Hang on. Hang on, chat. I just had a funny idea. Count me in. It'd be funny if this actually works. Hi, buddy. <laughs> hey, I can talk to him like this. So, uh, hi hey, this counts. This is technically a mask. My name is Nolly. I make an amazing wild bear crepe, and I hope to share what I've made with the Vo someday. All right, that's enough. That's funny. That actually worked. Amazing. Amazing job, Nolly. Vo are known to think with their stomach sometimes, so mentioning your cooking was a good idea. They're especially susceptible to sweets, so well done with the wild berry crepe. Oh. A sauce go to you as well. It's very nice of you to conceal your face for Nolly. Seems like the, that's just the thing she needed to get past her anxiety and talk to you. <laughs> More than welcome to return to class in the future. Uh, would it be like a different person talking to me, or what's the deal? Yeah. Pritana, let's see what you can do. I took the mask off. I wonder if that's right. right. Um, Pritana? I can't do it. I think I need that drink from the canteen to give me energy. Ah. Okay. Drink from the canteen. Yeah, Vo is the uh, Gerudo word for men. Vo are males and uh, Vi are female. <laughs> Gerudo are almost exclusively born women. Uh, let's see. Drink. Drink, drink, drink. Uh, from the canteen, she said. Not in here. Oh, in here. Aha! It's about what everyone's talking about. Furosa. Normally I wouldn't have anything for youngsters like you, but heard a new Vi is going to be coming to town sometime soon, and that news sparked a fire in me. Special version of my signature drinks. I want everyone from... Vevi to Vaba can enjoy. Sand trout. Wait, what? Okay. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that one right now. I might need to come back to that. Actually, let me open up my notes and write that down. Uh, let's see here. Cause this is not a, uh... Okay, so... Grudo Town... Uh, there we go. Okay. I wonder if I can find more of the, uh... I don't know if they're here or not, though. The Stele. They could be, like, around the city and other places, though, in theory. Oh, hey, there's a Hylian here. Jules, you are a super cute. Hello. You see that man, I mean, Vo, that everyone is talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. Really did get special permission to be in here, huh? All the same, you should be on your best behavior. Wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's what normally happens when men come here. Ah. Oh, excuse me. Like, what happened to that guy over there? I don't think you have anything to worry about as long as you behave. Anyway, this is important. Since you've been allowed in town, uh, you absolutely have to try the spa plan at Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Roma, has a special technique that's all the rage. 
Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Work here as an assistant. Spa plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option, too. Discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. Got it. Butter. Butter. Okay. Oh. It's up here. Oil. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's the drinky spot. If I can go in there. Oh, what's up here? Oh, nothing. Okay. You're guarding the prison, huh? Can't talk to him? Alright. Let's see. No. Blonde! No abs! Not have I. I'm not in the habit of allowing Vo to pass by me, but you are a special case. Huh? You may pass. Oh, I can go through here? Okay. I thought I was going to have to, like, sneak in there or something. Oh, this is the way out? Okay, I got it. Anything else in here? Oh, cute little sand seal plush. That's adorable. Oh god, there it is. Super cute. Uh, ooh, hang on. It's another one of the things. Got it. So all I need to do is stick this back in the spot. Aha! Nailed it. That really clicked into place. That's two. Uh, two more. Yeah, since Gerudo uh, are all born women, obviously their culture is um, uh, based around that a lot. Valley of the Silent Statues. Is that? Oh, this is not technically a cave. But what is going on down here? Nothing like going to stretch your legs and ending up in the strangest places. Yeah, the idea is that Gerudo, when they come of age, they usually, um, you know, at some point in their adulthood, they go out into the world and, uh, and find a husband for themselves. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go drink at the canteen. Oh, you're the, uh, oh, okay. I think now I might be able to do the thing. Although I definitely need to- Oh god! Okay. Let's go back up. We're gonna need to explore down here a little bit more in a bit. First, she went back to the canteen, I think, so I wonder if now I can do the drink thing. Oh, she's gonna take a while to go back, probably. Alright, let's explore this while we're here, then. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh. It's like flowing sands. 
Interesting. You want right there, Zan? Well, I can get over here, though, I bet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump my way through it. Hmm. Huh, 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 huh. Okay. What do we got in here? More arrows. I'll take that. I did use. I, I used. How many arrows do I have now? Got 520. I mean, that's still a lot, but I used uh, like 200 against the freaking Gleox after taking on all of those. Up sea daisies. Up sea doodles. Aha. Yeah, it's like some mirror. They oh got things here that I'm gonna need to connect. Like light. Yeah, there's even mirrors around. Okay, I'm gonna need to get like a beam of light in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it be. I gotta go break that. Hi, Zant. How you doing? Hi. Meow. Meow. He say meow. Meow. He says meow. Row. There we go. Whew, that's bright. That be bright. Yeah, that just leaves that there. Okay. There was a mirror around somewhere. Where was it? There it is. Come here, you. Hi! Silly boy. Silly, silly boy. Counts. It's close enough. Ooh. Okay. Haven't gotten that knight's halberd yet. I'll do that. Nice. Okay. Baller. Sand, please don't be stomping around the desk like that. Good God. Sand, stop. Ooh. Okay. Oh, another mirror. Got it. And this is just like wedged in here, I guess. Eh, if I needed it. Makes sense. Okay, so then I can use this mirror to hit that one in there, probably. I can't see. Oh, not getting it. I need to try and actually be able to see what I'm doing. Not see what I'm doing. Actually, hang on. I'll just lift it up. Do it this way. I think if I can. There we go. That's better. Okay. Nice. Whoop. It's so a lake lake of some kind. It's an elect electric one. Ooh. Oop. 
nope, nope. Dang it. Come here, you. Gotcha. Wonderful. Okay. Cool. Uh, is someone I need a picture of, I wonder? I don't think so, but let me double check. It is. Good thing I checked. All right, that was worth it then. Very good. Nice. Is that all there was to do down here? Ooh, royal bow. All right, cool. All right, so some good stuff in here. Found an apple in an ancient pot in a room that's been sealed off for God knows how long. I'm sure that's fresh and delicious. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, and there's another one there, another room there. Okay. Can I turn that one to hit that? I wonder, probably, hopefully, let's see. Yeah, I can see it from here, so. Got it. Okay, cool. I think that was the third and last of these rooms. It's Halberd. I got a picture of that already, right? I just picked the one that was already there. Yeah, okay. Take that for now, anyway. Oh, hang on, I just walked past it. There we go. Cool. Oh. There's the frog. I didn't realize this counted as a cave. I didn't see it on the map. I guess so. There might be an exit somewhere that, like, pops me out into the desert where I'll see the check mark. Because, yeah, this keeps going this way. Okay. Yeah, this is probably gonna like pop me out into the desert. Is that a Gibdo? Yeah. Okie dokie. Keep going. really freaky looking in this game. In, like, older games, the Gibdos are literally just look like mummies. Like, literally cartoon mummies. They look more like Reeds in this one. I guess not... They don't really look like Reeds, but that's what I thought they were when I first saw them. Oh god, I'm so hot. Oh, is that Riju? No, who's... Wait, is Riju... I mean, Pura is older, so it would make sense that Riju was. Oh, is this a different sand seal? Patricia! It's Riju Sand Seal. Oh, I need to see what, like, grown-up Riju looks like. I need to see grown-up Riju. I wonder if she's going to be one of the sages this time. Oh my god. Wow, she's like she's looking more like Urbosa. Missed again. Can't hit my 
Mark won't do anyone any good. It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Riju, you, you are looking good. My girl. But then, you always show up in unusual times. Oh my god! So Hyrule Castle rose into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. She's still, she's still like on the short side for a Grudo, but I'm, I, I dig it. And now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Grudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. Uh, it appeared around the same time at the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It's blanketed the whole desert, including our town. Hopefully when I do whatever temple this leads to, it'll um, clear up the sandstorm. It did, uh, I think when I did the, uh, um, sand sneezed. I think when I did the, uh, yeah, the, the wind one, it unfroze the, uh, um, Rito area. Not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. You just hit them with fire. Are you watching just now? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim lightning well, I think it may be effective weapon against the Gibdos. This technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it, and I still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of this sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help me with my training? Think if I use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at the dummy over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Ha! Huh, there we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Hmm. Aim for those dummies. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Aim for the area in the middle. Okay. Yes! I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? Can't thank you enough for your help, Link. I wonder if she's going to be one of the sages. She's got to be. I mean, we're tr doing this training now. That'd make me so happy. I love her. Oh? What was that? Didn't sound like any noise the Sand Shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... Chief! We've reached word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Bulariya is, on... Buliara is already on her way there. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask you for my help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, where'd she go? Can't see diddly squat! Oh, hey, look at this. It's probably arrows. Oh, it's a bow, a royal bow. Nice. I'm getting good bows here. See, if I get in out of the sandstorm, I probably just need, like, meter there, basically. Yeah. Okay. 
And yeah, that's the, uh, okay. Hang on, let me travel here. Let me see if I can do, finish up, oh god, the side quest that I was doing down in here first. I go in? Yeah, I'll go there in a bit. That'll be like the next kind of thing we do. Um, oh, let me get more of these red choo-choo jellies while we're here again. Thank you. I need more of these. Get more of the yellow ones. Yeah, I'll get all of these. Why not? Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't need pictures of those. She's already got those, obviously. Uh, okay. So we got found that one. I found another one. Let's see. Do they have the uh, thing here now? Ooh, I bet one of them is in the prison. Okay, we're going to need to, yeah, I'm going to need to clear up the sandstorm before we can do that, then. Oop, can I go in here? What is this? Okie dokie. <coughs> The back of this room is under the jail. Okay. Yeah, understood. Yeah, that's how I get in there. Okay, yeah, that... So this over here is underneath the jail, so I can ascend up in there, and that's probably where I can get a picture of the thing. If there's... Yeah, there is one in here. I figured. Got it. Okay. Hey, dude. How long have you been in here? I've seen you walking around out there. You're a man, but they let you come and go as you like? It's no secret that the Gerudo have rigidly enforced their law that forbids men from entering their town. Barely crossed the threshold between town and desert, and they threw me in jail. Faster than I can say, no, wait, not jail. <laughs> That's funny. Didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. Just wanted to see the faces of my wife, Perda, and my daughter, a daughter, Aqua, Aklet. Only telling you because you seem like a trustworthy sort. I've actually seen my daughter a few times, uh, so on average, I'm more happy than upset. Oh. Perda. Okay, I wonder if I can talk to Perda. Let me get out of here. He, like, turns around and I'm gone. Where am I? Oh. Like I said, I love the uh, the weird conceit that nobody actually sees Link use his powers. I don't think I looked around in this area yet. And yeah, this is Riju's throne room, where it was. Sand seal statue. Oh, hang on. Is there anything, like, inside there? What's going on here? Ooh, 
Whoop. Ah, uh, that's another way in here, I guess. Aha, uh -huh. that's an alternate path in here. I guess that's like the intended route, probably. I wonder if maybe if the last, um, thing is, uh, let me, uh, let me show you the ones I've got. There you go. Because I'm, I'm suspecting I might need to do, I might need to do, like, the, uh, the class thing for the other one? I don't know. see here. This one says, the seven heroines who protected the Gerudo, their power is housed within the seven spirits. I got one more for you. Seven heroines power returned. We can meet the shrouded eighth. There really was an 8th heroine? I don't believe it. This changes everything. Okay. Only one remains. Unless the last one's like down there or something. Possible. Okay. Where's the clothing store? Are you... Yeah. Secret map to Vopro... Yes. What? Shows the store where mommy works. Oh. Oh. Fruit store. There's a jewel store. Oh. Interesting. Oops. Okay. So it's like across from the jewelry? Hang on. There's the f mushrooms. There's the jewelry. There's the fruit stone. Hmm. What's this? Oh, hang on. This looks like something. Dang it. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Wait, something to do with what's on the ground there? Hmm. Where does this go? Who are you? Essa. Uh. Oh. Oh. Statues in here. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Chest here. What's this? 50 bucks. I'll take that. Why not? Okay, and that's what leads down into the, uh, the cave I was in. Okay. Yeah, Sand Seals and Pat Patricia are there on that list. 
Got it. I can probably get a better sand seal picture while we're in here. Beautiful. Okay. Oh. No, these are dummies, not, uh, okay. It's a shy. I need to go look at that map again. Should've just taken a picture of it, honestly. Sisters a scholar, lovely. Oh, I see, I see. Look at what's the deal with the spa? Maybe a Svo could endure my spa plan practice. Uh, okay. Spa plan is only 25 rupees. That's half what the owner plan, what the owner's plan costs. Okay. Uh, sure, let's go until noon. Mostly worked on Vice. Let me know if I'm pressing too hard. Oh my god. This is just like in Zelda 2 when a woman solicits Link to come into her house with him. Uh, come For him to come into her house with her. And, uh... Restores his health. Okay. Anyway. So. The jewelry and then to the right of that is... But that's to the left of the jewelry. That's why I'm confused. The map doesn't make sense. What is the moon thing? So that would mean that's like from the other side? This doesn't make sense with the way things are actually laid out in here. I don't understand. Alright, well I wanted to see what else is down here, if anything. I feel like there's another path to go down somewhere here. Yeah, there's like one there. Let's see, where does this go? What? Hang on. I can't move it. Maybe, oh, maybe if I go up through it? Oh, I can just go through it. Okay. Oh, that's just up in this house? Okay. 
Yeah, just more ways to get down inside, I guess. Interesting. Wonder if there is anything else down inside here. I don't know if we're gonna find like the last tablet thing. There's two ways to go. I don't think I went this way yet. I think I dropped down the other way. Oh, <clears throat> here's something. Found something here. Uh, maybe. Ooh, yeah, this keeps going. the end of that. Oh, this goes in here. Hmm. Loops around here. Wait. I just go around in a circle? What the heck? Yeah, hang on. That went in a circle. the deal here then wonder if there's anything, anything like above this or it's got to be the point nope not really no nah. Okay, weird. I not to understand. That seemed pointless. <laughs> Bottles are floating down this way. And then, oh. Korok. I think. Wait, what? Get off the thing. That looks like a Korok thing, but how do I... How do I get it? Did I, like, not line it up right? Maybe I need to pop out of the top? Okay, got it. Understood. Uh, okay then. Still confused about... What is that? that guy, camera. It's 
just a person? Are you a Yiga clansman? Uh. Shh, not so loud. I heard voices. They're coming from below. Something about a secret. Could this be the reason ghosts haven't moved on? Secret of the monsters doubtlessly kill them? Okay, this guy's a little nutso. It's fine. Uh, okay. I guess I'll go back under for now. I wonder if I can go up into, like, Riju's room again. Oh, sand uh, plushies. Sand seal plushies. Oh. Put it back where I got it. I just wanted to read her journal. Received an unsettling report from Buliara today. A strange haze, some called it gloom, is emanating from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill. My friends Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of the problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted off into the sky where it was joined by countless small floating islands. So much happening all at once. What's going on in the world? And are those two safe? Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule, and now danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, a, the, a sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We traveled out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the sand shroud or the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused this. As chief of the Grudo town, I am to blame for these failures. Fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will be, will be able to break through. We are also lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter. We must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. As a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here is a f uh, feeling. Uh, excuse me. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm gonna leave Buliara in charge of the shelter and go train. The rooms to the north aren't too far. They should be the perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. Hmm. If Lady Lady Urbosa, if only you were here with us, watch over all these dark times and keep Zelda and Link safe. Okay. Okay. Anything around here? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back down and... Oh god, hang on. What? Oh. Right. <clears throat> Um... Still confused about where the clothes store is supposed to be. Don't really have a good map of this area. the way out, right? Yeah. Let me see this here. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Okay. Oh, lightning. Okay, I might need um, uh, Riju for whatever this is. I'm thinking that's what we're going to have to do next time, is continue the Riju quest and uh, meet with her in, uh, let's see here, yeah, in Karakara Bazaar. So that's what we'll do.
Now, we'll end it off here now. And next time, we'll go meet Riju in the bazaar. And, uh, and continue on that quest line. And that will, I, I assume, get Riju into our uh, party as a sage. And that'll be good. We'll get, uh, that'll be our second one. I think after that, I'll probably go towards the, uh, uh, the water temple. I should, I should make a point of doing that, like, right afterwards. And then we can, you know, focus on hitting up some shrines and stuff that we missed before we go to the last one. Actually, before we end off... Let me see here. I have more of the chew jelly? No. Let me see here. Before we end off, let's go talk to a great fairy and uh, get our outfit leveled up. Our, uh, uh, which one? The, the Rita one. The one that keeps us warm. It could be useful to have that leveled up a bit. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. I, uh, I'm getting tired. I need to get some food in me. Uh, but first, yeah. Let's go visit a fairy. We'll see who's online that we can go say hi to as well. I don't know if I've got enough to get the uh, either of the pieces up all the way, but let's find out. Let's see what we can do. Okay. What? Sans being needy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Is it level 5? Yeah, so I can get it again here. Can I get this up all the way? Oh, I blush. Okay. Na 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 na. Ma. Ma. Now, what do I need for the next one? Fire breathing lizzle flow's tail. Okay, I've got those. Okay, I might have. I should have just enough stuff to get. Mm. I've, I've got just enough stuff to get this up another level. Mmm. Mm. Oh, here comes the smooch, lads. Can we do the last one? Can we, uh, can we go ham on this? Do we have enough for the last level? Ah, oh, we don't, we need more tails. That's what we need. Unfortunate. All right, well, we won't be able to see that animation today, then. But yeah, we're going to end off here tonight. We're going to see who we're going to go raid. Uh, next time, we're going to go meet Riju in the bazaar, and we'll continue uh, from there. Uh, I'm just going to go over here for now. I'll scan some uh, couple of amiibos and get some more bows in between streams. Let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, we got a couple of good options here now. Um, you know what, it looks like, um, the Paladin Bell. We can keep the, uh, the Zelda train going, because the Paladin Bell is playing Ocarina of Time, so I can send you guys over to her. That would be fun. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be back 
next weekend on Saturday we're gonna be we're really just continuing what we've been doing now so Saturday we're gonna be playing some more uh, Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance which I've been enjoying a lot that one is really really good I'm excited to get back to this and we're gonna continue uh, this on Sunday next weekend uh, we're going to continue the, the Riju quest there, which I am also looking forward to now. Uh, but as always, if you ever want to know what I'm going to be playing or when I'm playing it, you can follow me on Twitter or join me on the Discord, although Twitter is burning down, so you should probably just join the Discord. Um, I know everybody and their dog has a Discord, but if you really want to keep up to date with what I've been doing, that's probably the best place to do it. I do put the new schedule in the announcements tab every week which i will do a little bit later tonight now after we're done and i always i, I try to put it in the uh on discord in the events tab so you can see it displayed in your own local time zone um let's see here uh yeah we're gonna raid bell the paladin bell uh, i'm gonna put my raid command into the chat Let's point raid. <laughs> Your dog doesn't have a Discord. But that's probably because you don't have a dog. That's fair. That's fair, Shiro. Uh, let me get this going here. Let me get my dashboard up and everything. So if you are subscribed, if you're subscribed, you can copy and paste Nightbot's message here, and it'll look like mine. If you're not subscribed, it'll look like Nightbot, so you probably don't want to do that, unless you unlock those emotes with channel points. Um, and if you're collecting channel points for any reason, uh, then be sure to stick around for the raid and yell Merry Raid when we get in there uh, to let the Paladin Bell know that you have arrived. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys for today. Uh, okay, hopefully I'll see some of you back here next week. I'm just wasting time until I get the raid started here. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. So I am going to say thank you guys once again uh, so much for joining me. And until next time, true believers, Excelsior!